So the footage for episode one of Tales from the Tavern got corrupted somewhere along the way between my PC and Suno's, but the only things that you miss are introducing the party, our individual motives for being out here in the first place, and our first combat with a group of four goblins, one of whom, named Pajet, is now accompanying us to their hideout. Okay, oh, yeah. so yeah. chronologically, <laughs> we, yes. we met up with Gunter and Rockseeker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> At the bar. And after being either brought in by Mala or other spooky, spooky, mysterious circumstances, in my case, I suppose, and, uh, we played Two Truths and a Lie Sloppy. with him to get most to know each other. Two, two Truths and a Lie. Well, most of us did. Most <laughs> of you did, that is. One of us didn't understand the rules. Uh, uh, one of us didn't understand the rules. One of us, however, refused to play. To play. Uh, and then he got the news that we would be going to a outpost near or by Fandelver. Uh, it is in Fandalin. That was... Fandalin, right. Yes, Fandalin. Uh, we are the Fandelvers. <laughs> yes, 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 we are the, we are the Fandelvers. Fandelvers going to Fandalin. Yes, exactly. We are delving into Fandelver. <laughs> oh. uh, sort of. Anyway, yeah. uh, he was talking about this I mean, discovery that he found and how he would be going on ahead with a friend of his when said friend and Gunter Noxseeker Alright, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> I just like that it's so delayed that time. <laughs> um, got ambushed by, captured by a bunch of goblins on our way there with the wagon and supplies and oxen and horses. We were ambushed by the self-same troop, and, in our defense, killed most of them, save Ascotlin, because <laughs> Brain suddenly can't remember the name. Paget. Paget. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Paget. Uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 uh, and so... We ended up sparing Paget because most of us are apparently good of some kind of lawful chaoticness. And so. Good of some kind of lawful chaoticness. Nice. Yes. <laughs> and so we, as a group, convinced Paget that they deserve to be in charge of their tribe. Betrayal. Yes! We convinced them to do betrayal! <laughs> and we have come up with a clever plan to use our lovely tiefling friend as an actual demon to scare the absolute shit out of Paget's tribe and make them believe Paget themselves summoned him. For the purposes of rescuing Gundren Rockseeker. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And Bingo. so now, after Podget tried and failed to get us to fall into a couple of traps because they thought it would be funny, which they were right, it would have been very funny. <laughs> um, we are making our way. Yeah, there weren't any traps. What are I talking about? No, none whatsoever. <laughs> none. Absolutely none. Anyway, we're headed to Podget's tribe. To rescue Gunter Rock Seeker. <laughs> <laughs> you did that on purpose! Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> Cook it because I was laughing. My <laughs> mouth was moving too much. <laughs> okay. And so, we're headed there to enact the plan, which is doubtless going to go. Terribly, horribly wrong. And wow, we are present. Yes, are. yes. Uh, you all. Uh, when we kind of finished last time, oh, we were is outside. somebody recording? 
Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, we gotta recap the entire thing now. No, I, I would have, and then I, I, nobody would have <laughs> known about the inside joke. <laughs> I I know you would have, Allie. Um, okay, so you guys ended up outside. What inside um, joke? You mean uh, about Gundren Rock Seeker? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Egg fucking exactly. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh so you ended up outside of the the cave mouth when we kind of like concluded and you guys are probably going to take a short rest and come up with the specifics for this plan before you entered the inside of the cave. Which Ooh. this is kind of what the where you are right now. How's everybody's HP done? After a short uh, rest, as far as I'm fine. aware. Full. Yeah. Well, well full. she has a trick. I do. She can heal you. We're also with your warlocks. Wounds. We should probably do short rest. Yes, well, that's that's what she's saying. She has a spell slot left, and she has cure wounds, and she gets Another the spell word, slot back on a short rest. Back full. Yeah, ah. yeah, well, yeah. But a, a short rest would have gotten me to full anyway. Well, yeah, but then you wouldn't have to waste uh dice. Hit dice. True. Hit dice. Oh, okay. True. All right. What so. I'm at seven out of nine, so I'm good. Calibrin didn't get touched. Nine out of twelve. In in every meaning of the term. I was at four out Nobody's of eight. Nobody's ever touched him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's okay. touched me. And yeah, I think I... Andrus got uh, attacked as well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm at a, a, a two thirds health. I mean. Or is it like half? So you should probably get it here. It present feels fine. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. I wouldn't have helped anyways. You take the rest. <laughs> <laughs> we all know you're all the type to snap off the arrows. We've, we've, we know this. <laughs> That's th that how we heal. That how we get supply. I told you, ready. <laughs> yes, that is. It's not how you get the supply because if you snap it, it, you can't use it again. But so you're you... already just lying to yourself. Well, not snap. Just pull out a pull out a dead thing. You just weren't dead. I didn't know what to do. And I understand. But if you do so in the future, you might wish to when... wait until you know when they are the... dead. Yeah. Unless if still if to... they're not dead, then you 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 just you leave it and let me handle. Leave it and then bandage it. Yeah, you you go look for an adult, okay? <laughs> I am I an adult though. I should do that all the time. I like yes, but you're a tall person. Do what? Everyone's what? talking to Paget about this, and meanwhile, Chiron's did the same thing, and no one's saying shit to him. <laughs> <laughs> Understands. <laughs> yeah. Well, Almost like he just expects it. I am oh, sort of um, had a bit of a lapse in judgment, let us say. Bloody adventurers! Why? Why? What? I, I I have read that the that the chaos that can happen among such groups is legendary, but to witness it, I I I can't even begin to fathom. What is going through those heads of yours? <sighs> nothing. Literally nothing. Uh, if, if this is your definition I of that. legendary, I am starting to doubt your parents' legacy then. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Ouch. That, 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 um, that, that burn was felt from miles away at this point. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, Peget kind of looks a around all of you. I'm assuming you're all doing your healing. Well, uh, Haruka, who did who are you healing with your cure wounds? I believe I was healing Chiron because he was at four out of eight, and I'm like, no, I'm not leaving him at half. Right, well, fuck? Chiron's back at full. Um, and uh, I I'm assuming you're all going to take a short rest unless somebody wants to try to heal up Andrus as well. I don't really have anything I could do. In fact, I don't have any resources of getting back either. I didn't spend anything. Cool, 
cool, cool. cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, I can, I can just. Yeah, but you get two more lives. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, at, at worst, the, if, if if I if I roll a one, I can just also cure wounds myself. After. Sure. You I have say you got two warlocks going into a. Uh, Are both warlocks cave. celestial? No. Where do you have cure wounds from then? Cleric. From being a cleric. Oh, right. Yes. Like voices are hard to discern right now. Sorry. Frank. Frank is not burning. I'll take it as a compliment. This is... <laughs> um, um, our... Go ahead. Oh, I, I'm just trying to figure out what I did wrong with my character sheet. That's all. I'm, I'm fine. It's nothing okay. major. Um, <laughs> so I will say during the short rest, you guys, uh, Pajak kind of like looks at all of you. He's like, okay, so what plan to overthrow Clark and Craig Ma hideout? Well, we are going to make. You think I have a plan? <laughs> I mean, you, you, we you all, have all a plan. say me be leader. So, so yes. make me be leader. Yes, we are going to make it appear as if you will summon our friend Chiron here. Wait, that's the wrong dice. And prove thereby your power that and works. readiness to rule over Clark's minion, let us say. So, Pajet, pretend he be powerful with demon army behind him or something? Well, a very strong demon, and mm. then we can, you can claim that you use the demon's power to capture the rest of us. Oh, I'm not a big fan of that. So, Pajet looks around. They, they, you all need to make make look like you capture. I it, it, like, we, like, how we make you look like I you have, capture. I know for a fact that I have about 20 throats bag you can bind our hands or well loose yeah i would but so um um Pajette kind of looks looks and's like I, I i i don't normally bind enemy i kill enemy and drag them well that is the thing we are alive and dragging us would be rather difficult all of us any rush how 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 tie rope has yet never done before? <laughs> Here, I, show you. I I can that tie the rope. Odd. Yes, Kyron could do. It. Hmm. Kind of, yeah 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 yeah. Fun, funny demon, go do it. <laughs> Calibran takes a note of something real quick, glancing at Haruka every now and then. <laughs> uh, is Artemis? It's just a bit of an odd turn of phrase. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I see. Well, I am. Um, I do get. <clears throat> Some might say manner is somewhat archaic. P -p 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 just kind of, kind of looks, can, uh, looking at all of you, kind of confuzzled a little bit. <laughs> It is alright, do not worry. Calibrin is similarly confused. While they're talking, Chiron's just gonna pull the rope out of his bag. <laughs> Here, use mine as well. Craig guy uh, hands over her. I... So... I do not find myself particularly... interested in this plan. Um, However, it... It's just crazy enough to work. I possibly... As you said I just, before. I didn't say that before. Um, that was, out, that was out of character. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes brain does not brain correctly. I... But, well, but what happens if, like, it succeeds too well and they just... They just completely capture us? Well... That is the thing. Maybe loose. I uh, P Pidget kind of chimes in. If th if things go real bad, I uh, Pidget just cut rope and you all kill like you did friends. <laughs> Precisely. I I also that sounds like a plan to me. I I also can likely tie ropes so that you would have the ability and to get loose. How do we know you're just gonna not do? 
decide to not do that and join your other goblins and kill us. I mean, that's a risk you gotta take, isn't it? It is a, uh, it is risky, yes. You, but he has something to gain from this. Power. Pajet wants to be leader. Yes, precisely. <laughs> Pajet, big boss. Yes. And if all go to plan, you will be there. Pajet kind of, like, starts jumping around very, very excitedly <laughs> with, with the notion that he is going to be the leader of this hideout. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, this is gonna go so well. Oh, In some ways, things don't go so well. Maybe instead of going all the way into the cave to the leader or wherever the prisoners go, maybe Pajet says that they have prisoners or bodies outside and gets a group of goblins to come and help them uh, with carrying or acquiring but then once outside Pajet tells them that uh, Pajet's going to be the new leader and that um, in reality uh, the ruling uh Guy, I don't remember the name of Guck or Clark. Whatever. Clark. Clark. Clack. Yes. Um. Uh. Is is unbefitting of rule, and that clearly Pajet should be in charge, mm -hmm. and that the goblins should uh not resist as we dethrone uh him. Uh, did you just call for him their Clark? own safety? Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Clank, thought... yes, that's what I said. Oh, okay. <laughs> Clank, okay. Uh... <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, Rather so... close. I should oh, you know. Blue. Ky <laughs> Chiron is picking up what Andrew Leg. is putting down now. <laughs> uh, so, so Pichet, uh kind of like looks around a little bit and then points mm -hmm. uh, towards, towards the east over here. Maybe. Okay. There we go. Uh, uh, pointing over there, it's like, have to get past Urk first. Urk, leader of outside of cave. Or boss of outside of cave. Urk, ah, so tell he's the head everyone clerk. else. Uh, uh, Urk, tell everyone in cave if danger. So what you're saying ah, is so we need to just wipe him off the map immediately. Well, uh, not We're necessary. still on the roadmap. I don't know if you know. This is um, perfect practice for, for our dear and faithful leader Pajet to show that they can convince the other goblins. So clearly Pajet can go uh, talk to them, um, and if they disobey, Pajet is strong enough to take them out themselves. But Pajet go alone? Who no. did you? But you're, you are so strong and so, so oh charismatic, my, my dear Pajet. I believe <laughs> in you. Uh, can you roll a persuasion check? <laughs> oh, I can no. definitely do that. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Calibrid's like... It's even worse. <laughs> then you thought we were already were at legendary levels of chaos. You have not seen legendary yet. <laughs> uh, Pajet just kind of looks at Andrus for a second and... Uh, Pajet... Urk think Pajet idiot. P uh, Pajet not be able to convince Urk of this plan by himself. Pajet need oh. to take take Demon with him, and maybe with uh, Demon we can convince together. That is quite a wise plan. Sure. <laughs> Time to convince them all anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, suddenly, there's new levels to this that I'm not agreeing to. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. I, I I would like to say that Andrus probably does look very uncomfortable comfortable every time uh, someone calls Chiron a demon. Yeah. Hmm. Chiron, mine meanwhile looks almost completely unaffected. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I mean, if it, if, if it bugs you all, but you could always just tell Bajet to, like, correct him, unless you don't care, but... Oh, it's... I mean, if anyone's gonna do correcting, it's probably gonna be Andrus, but... Probably, but it's one of those... 
Did that? I think he's not actually this. This, demon this was Chiron's cool. plan, so he's not actually not gonna a fucking... demon. So please but only call him the... that when you. But the rest they... of the goblins do not know that. We can use that to our advantage. Yes, I'm just saying for the sake of. We can domesticate him later. <laughs> <laughs> What? I suppose I suppose this is true. Pajet just sees a butterfly and starts to chase it around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what did you find? He's adorable. Guys, I'm food. starting to have doubts in food. this plan. Food. I'm starting to have big doubts food. in this plan. Food. Food. <laughs> food as he just tries to tries to catch the butterfly while you all are talking. Oh. <laughs> I'm just sitting there oh, watching him chase around a butterfly. I'm just like I just, I sigh, and I, I, there's nothing that we can do about this guy, is there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I suddenly am, am internally, at least internally, agreeing with Mel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so, so, Pajet has requested Chiron come with him, but you can probably, I, I don't know, is that how you want to go? Like, what, what what's going to be the full plan here? I'd rather uh, all of us go because I don't I think it's easy to use prestidigitation hmm. or uh, the fucking or druid thing. If the with or luck out or that how's this for attack? Instead of being seen, why not not be seen? Go up behind him and stab him in the back. You want to start to work your style. Uh, stab who in the back? Sorry, the dude outside the cave. Oh, oh. Um, so Pichat kind of looks around. Eh, very hard to sneak. Only, only one way. It, only one way in out can see. Very hard to get behind. Uh, I mean, is there a way to get above? Uh, you you have to be like, you have to climb trees to get above. Right. Gonna sound too hard. I, I tried. tried. I tried to take part. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Do not apologize. You did well. Oh. Yeah. Kind of All I'm gonna point out is that there's plenty of trees, and there's gonna be a big distraction in front of him. There, true. Pajet kind of uh, points over to here. The, the, this where they we, be, they see it's us. Still, it's still the roadmap for us. Is this? Oh shit! Did I not put it over? It, it, I'm sorry. It's, it's still the roadmap. Bro. I'm not bad. saying something My about bad. it. We're just kind of improvising. Sorry. There you go. Okay. My apologies. Yeah, so... <laughs> sorry. Sorry. All right. My apologies. Pat, pat. I, I did not realize. Um... <laughs> oh, my token has um... HP now. Cool. <laughs> yes. So, so Pajet points o over to here. This where this where Irk like over there. be able to see. Mm. Yeah. He like shakes his head. Ye. Nope. Okay. Alternatively, we could just be your army and march in there and see what happens. We would get I mean, one, so. idea. Druid, are you able to uh, wild trip? Not yet. Shame. Uh, well then, how well do you think you'd be able to cross this little river and get in those trees back there? Oh yeah, I actually... I reckon pretty well. Go. Uh, the stream is extremely shallow. You can literally just walk across it. <laughs> I reckon very well. <laughs> <laughs> Dreamly? <laughs> ah! Mm. Uh, can any of you not see in the dark? Or not see in the dark very well? I cannot. However, I, cannot I do see. have a spell to remember. Not even just in the I... dark, I just can't see. Uh, I can just <laughs> perform a uh, small uh, small uh, blessing and give three of you uh, 300 feet of dark vision. Bless you. I can... you all can see in the dark. Let me just adjust this now. Okay. <laughs> You're good. I... All, all of you can see enough. Um, I, I can... Uh, I, I have a trick. That my mother taught. 
I use my other senses to to somewhat see around me in an <clears throat> odd sort of fashion. I will give you the the the, the three hundred feet anyway. It doesn't matter. So oh, I'll wow, give that's that to that makes you, things Mala, a little bit and... odd. Hmm. Yeah. All right, so I guess you all <laughs> have shadows. dark vision, so it works. Nice. <laughs> that makes my life a lot easier. Um, <laughs> cool. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> Meanwhile, most DMs are like, oh, everybody has dark vision. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Unnatural darkness. What you gonna do, bitches? <laughs> no, it just makes describing things a hell of a lot easier for me, that's all. True. So, true. what my plan is, is for me and our druid friend to get into the trees on the other side of the river, uh, and then use our like precipitation the like smell thing on Chiron when the time comes and then we just try and kill the guard. Which sounds like a valid plan. Uh anyone if, else if, have if, any if Pudget <clears throat> and Chiron can't convince the goblin uh Kirk, uh, or whatever this one's name is, uh, <laughs> of uh, that that he would be better on our side, then I suppose we have no choice if we can't change his mind. Um, but if uh, we we we, it's it's always better to play play the numbers game. So if if we can get his him on our side, I say we try. Uh, Paget, Paget kind of looks like Chiron. You, Irk thinks Paget dumb. You have to do most talking, which I don't uh, do very well. I have to do the talking. Uh, Paget kind of shakes his head. Last time I got in a fight with Irk, he punched me into the stream and I went flowing. It, it was not pretty. I have fish in mouth after. Had lunch, How shallow but. Is this stream? <laughs> Yeah, Chiron's gonna actually do that while he's talking. He's gonna just like look at the stream and try to judge how small this goblin really is to have gone down the stream. Small baby. Because if it's a very shallow stream, and this man went floating down yeah. the river, <laughs> Pichette, uh kind of kind of looks. This is not only stream in here. I'm not talking this stream. I'm talking further in. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, well then, this would be a bit wider of a stream, technically, um, because of the displacement of water. The but, you know. streams cross <laughs> by chance. Say that again. Across the damn stream. Oh my god! <laughs> do, the, do the streams cross by chance? Uh, streams always cross. That's 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 how streams work. <laughs> there's when... there's lots lots of water in deeper part of cave. So, so we use it on occasion. Ah, good. To uh, drink, I suppose. I P Pajet kind of looks around shiftedly. Yeah, drink. Nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> I suddenly am not feeling comfortable with this plan at all. <laughs> <laughs> Rather go with my plan. Not very. Use you as a distraction and just go kill the guard. I mean, I mean, I mean this in general. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's up to you guys. Will push, sure. push Chiron towards um, Pudget and go. Well, go on. <laughs> Better late than never. Happy goblins' brains off this one, but if this is the dumbest one, then we're really screwed. <laughs> this plan is not? not gonna work. If it does not work, you have a plan B. Uh, I mean, all right, Eldritch Blast. Just... <laughs> yes, I guess that's just just works. So, <laughs> all right, so I guess uh, Paget and Chiron start making their way. I I'll put us right over here right now. Um, whoever right, uh, is now, going to... The river. What's up? I was just saying for Grandnom and I to go across the river here. 
Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So um, I would say in order to climb the trees, I'm going to need to make the both. Uh, for those who climb the trees, I need you to make an athletics check. Okay. I'm not going in the Easy. trees. I'm just going near, like in the near it. Near it. But area. if you're going, going to... in it. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Har Haruka's doing battle up the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, my. That's, that is impressive. <laughs> yeah, Saruka just uh, showing how nimble uh, she actually is just ends up going, like, uh, doing all these acrobatic Except, things like, on the top like, of the trees. One. Um, She's Gramnom... not one to show off, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Gr Gramnom struggles a little bit, but he is able to get up to the top of the trees. Nice. I'm too chubby for this. I'm staying on the ground. Look, look, Haruka's not showing off. This is just her normal, like, capabilities. She's not showing off in her brain. Everybody else thinks she's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> this is just an average Monday night for her. And she's just like, wait, <laughs> how am I doing this? You know, like Caliber just holds up where he is, drawing his blade, and being prepared to charge in should something go awry. Or All rather, right. when something goes awry. When something goes awry. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's not if, but when at this point. <laughs> yeah, All something's right. gonna go wrong. But... So, Pajet gets about here, and Chiron gets about here, when Urk pops uh, forward from this, like, little hollowed-out uh, briar thicket that had hovel. been... Uh, sorry, what? Hovel. It's hovel. hovel. Yes, it's essentially a hovel that made out of, like, very, very thick trees and everything. Urk kind of pops up, and also two goblins also are kind of next to him. They stop and, and they they start uh, shouting something in uh, in goblin. Um, I'm not sure if Calibran is going to be close enough to hear this, so uh, Pajet starts responding in goblin, and they're having a goblin conversation right now. Chiron's uh, uh -oh. just going to keep watching the body language. <laughs> Uh, gonna... ooh, um, okay, so, insight? uh, insight, yes, yeah, so you can do a insight check, um, be it like looks like Bajar and Urk are kind of, uh, are, are kind of, like, shouting at each other, and Pajet starts pointing at Chiron, uh, a little nervously, from what it looks like, he looks a little shaken through there, and, and Urk, quick, let's um, intimidate yeah, <laughs> oh, Okay. Okay. Um, you, you get the feeling that uh Pajet is probably the not winning this argument right now. And uh especially with the way the body language is going, uh Pajet seems to be freaking out a little bit more while Urk is seems to be uh getting a crossbow out and starting to aim it at Pajet. As as more goblin screaming kinda happened from there, and Pajet just finally says, Just wait, he can be common. And Urk just looks over at Chiron, and and Chiron uh, stay, uh, and and Eric, Urk goes over to Chiron and is like, "You don't look so tough." All right, this is probably gonna need a couple checks, because uh, okay. <laughs> Chiron's. Right. I'm gonna DM you something just because I don't wanna. Dang it, we should have set up like a signal, something to shout if things if, if we're on the attack. <laughs> so, so You'll know by an Eldritch what, blast going what, off. <laughs> well what exactly did the goblin say at the end just because I was I was distracted by sending the DM uh, that, that's fine. So so Urk was, was uh just oh, kind uh, of looking... you don't look so tough, that's right. Yes, you don't look so tough. Um so so we're gonna do what I said in DMs. Um and okay. then can you bef uh can you roll for that please? The mystery roll. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> he t uh, he does not see it. Okay. Ooh. Uh and then uh, he Chiron's going to yell in infernal. I'll show you tough the immediate moment that happens um for the intimidation. Uh roll in intimidation with advantage. Ooh. <laughs> so the 14. <laughs> that better, is better than the 8. <laughs> uh -huh. It's a flat 10. It's good. 
Um, so, so, uh, this goblin over here kind of starts to back up and really look freaked out by this, this demonic looking, uh, thing that had just happened. But Urk was like, ooh, more prey that I can kill to get better with Clark and starts to approach <laughs> you with his sword, uh, popped up, which inspires this <laughs> goblin to be like, ah. I'm going to pop right over here and start aiming. So you have two people aiming for you right now, Chiron. And and Paget was like, Paget kind of looks like Chiron for like guidance. Like, what do I do? What do I do? Is there anything I can say? Like, what? Um, they He just walked into my line of sight. Oh, can I oh, uh, hold an action for... to, um, to cast Sacred Flame at him? Yes. Uh, if, if, uh, if, 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 like, he swings his sword at Chiron. Yes, yes, that's fine. Also, for anyone who can see Chiron, he just had wings appear out of nowhere <laughs> uh, just before screaming out something in Infernal. Um, Alrighty. All right, well, I would likely have been able to hear that. And I would understand it, so... But, oh yeah, what was what did you scream in Infernal? Uh, for... oh, it was like yeah, scary to... or something, and he said, "You know, I'll show you scary or whatever." I don't remember the exact wording now, but yeah, it was just uh, intimidation well, words. Yes, intimidation words. Which, but, but but now now he's gonna probably continue to yell out in Infernal that he we I might need some help. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh... Let's see. How do I want to do this? Because I have an idea. I'm basically just going to ready an Eldritch Blast on the uh, goblin nearest to me. Okay. I, w I would say you probably have one more opportunity before uh, Urk, or Urk attacks Chiron. That also goes for anyone else who yes. would have heard Chiron, I would assume, uh, somewhat frantically saying something in Infernal. Yeah, I don't know Infernal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you can sense. probably pick up the tone of, like, holy shit. I don't know, maybe, Infernal maybe. just sounds guttural. <laughs> maybe, like... <laughs> well, let's yeah. see. Who... Let's see, so... Calibro's just like watching. I understand you can see me for, like, reading a, an clear blast on this thing. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, I was about to. I was about to say that. So, um, I don't know. Maybe I could put like a guidance on somebody. I don't have too many combat spells right now. <laughs> Which is fine, Haruka. Is there anything you want to set up or attempt or uh, anything? I'm going to. Go in the trees a little bit over here. Okay. And hold an Eldritch Blast for one start. Jeez. Beautiful. <laughs> uh, Calibrin? He's just waiting for a signal. He's not. I don't think he would really have the wherewithal to prepare any a magic or attack or anything at the moment. Okay. Uh, Chiron, do you want to try to intimidate Urk one more time with something else with this Infernal? Um. <laughs> Can we directly threaten him in common? Yeah, that's actually what I'm going to do. I'll, I'm just going to have him be just drop the Infernal and just I would highly recommend you rethink your actions. Uh, roll one more Intimidation. <laughs> Oh. Hey! Oh. Yeah, that works. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so you, you see Urk kind of uh, sweating a, a little bit after this last thing. He's like, he looks at Pajet. You, where'd you find Chiron from? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, demon, go and and and, and the, the demon, help me become stronger. We could take Clark together. Urk is just like. If you have demon on side, then I guess I could help you out. Clark been terrible, terrible leader recently. All been 
wanting that dwarf all the time, not letting us have food until we capture him. I guess, I guess we could help you out. Uh, it, it, and Pajet is, is like, yeah. We, we, we get own army. We go in there. We can kill everybody. And Pajet is just like getting this like menacing look in his eyes. Tyron is going to take the, uh, the imposing bodyguard stat at, at this point and just fold his arm, you know, look tough and just sway his tail. Um, <laughs> Occasionally uh, shift his shoulders to, you know, make the wings look more imposing. <laughs> so. So, uh, so Pajak kind of, uh, kind of comes forward. He's like, "I, uh, a demon, <clears throat> de demon brought, brought in here. It looks like he, he's thinking a little bit because he's kind of forgetting the plan a little bit because you get the feeling he's an idiot. Um, <laughs> uh, p p no. de de demon brought army with him. Oh, I, I hope Pajet survives this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Me too. And Pajet kind of comes over here and is like, "Army, come out!" I'm just gonna I'm like gay. walk out Over directly in the up with <laughs> And then these two goblins are like, oh, <laughs> trying to pretend. I more of you. Oh, God. <laughs> Apologies for the scare. So, 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 Urk looks around. It's like, you, yep. Pajet, why do you not say you have demon power? That's like, I did not know I had demon power till now. <laughs> So, uh, so Ur Ur Urk is like, uh, and kind of bows down to, to Chiron. What can we do for Master? <laughs> Calibran also kneels at your service, Lord Pajet. <laughs> Chiron is gonna, gonna flash a look to Andrus that says I'm in over my head at this point. <laughs> Andrus is has the biggest shit ain't eating grown. <laughs> yes, my lord. Uh, so so Pajet, Pajet looks like Chiron. So, so so you 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 have army. You control them. Mm. What we do. How did I end up in this situation? That's <laughs> 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 an infernal. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> oh, no. we, we we have to we have to deal with Clark, don't we? Uh, <laughs> yes. Urk is Urk er, er kind of shakes his head. Yes, yes, Clark Clark, leader of Cragmoth. He he and deepest part of cave. I, I'm I'm uh. boss on outside, but there are two other bosses in there who who help Clark out with business. One is in eating room and one is in Clark's cave. Hmm. Do you believe that they will go along with our plan or are they loyal to Clark? Oh, oh, uh, Urk kind of, uh, kind, kind of looks around with, with, with how scary Demon is, they, they, they might, they might be convinced. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> In a mocking infernal tone, he's gonna go excellent, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> funny part so, is, so is trying to hide. <laughs> Calvin is very much trying to hide his disappointment in the situation. At this point, he's like, "Oh God." I have always <laughs> wanted to try the different. Approach first, however, if I'll... we do have. By Mistra, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> so Urk kind of looks around a little bit. and He's like, "You might, uh, may maybe, maybe you can recruit Emic. Emic is in feeding room, where, <laughs> where, where we capture human." Ah, so the human is still alive. Uh, the last. Last Urk checked, yes, but he looked very beaten. They tried to get information about dwarf that was with him. What? Where is the, where is the dwarf? Where, where? Clark, Clark took dwarf in, in into cave. Clark haven't seen uh, dwarf since. So, is it believed he escaped? Urk not see anyone come in or out. I see. Even so, that is good to know. Hmm. Let us see if we cannot get your friends to join us. 
so uh Irk kind of kind of looks at at the two gob uh, at his two goblin compatriots and starts uh speaking to them in, in goblin um you you two go to eating room and and because uh, Calibran, you speak goblin right yes okay uh you two go to eating room and and see if you can uh uh get you make out here maybe we can compromise with this and the goblins kind of like like uh uh Mm -hmm. Uh, nod their heads and start going towards the cave. Ah. What's up to? Do you want to say anything in Goblin to them, Calibrin, or do you just want to let them go into the cave? Good luck. And then they all kind of look right at Calibrin. You speak <laughs> Goblin? <laughs> what the fuck? I've stu I studied it a while back. Did, did no filthy human could 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 learn art could learn <laughs> language of superior goblin. She has quite a lovely language, isn't it? The, the <laughs> goblins just kind of grunt and start running inside of the cave, and you see them disappear <laughs> after a little bit. I just hope you're not about great. Um. So I mean, worst I'm comes really to worst, we're going to be bringing people out here, so we're yeah. in a much more open situation than I, we I, would I, in I the really game. hope. I, I really hope we could it's find a Gundren and Rockseeker in time. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Me. <laughs> Erg kind of kind of looks around. It's like that funny name for dwarf. Dwarf and naming conventions are often similar. Uh, oh. Irk, so so Irk looks at at uh at the other dwarf who is who is in the party. Uh, what your name? <clears throat> uh, Gramnom. They 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 start laughing. You sound like you belong in eating room. <laughs> <laughs> that is where I'd like to visit first. <laughs> Uh, I mean, Irk is like, if... <laughs> uh, <laughs> says, if, if goblins come back, we might get escort to eating room. Well, that sounds lovely. Uh, how, how far can I see into the back of this cave? Because my dark um, vision like cuts off before I, I think it would realistically. Seeing how I've got 300 feet, but I can right. only if see to like... Um, so yeah. if you're able to look down the cave, like, uh, yeah, so up to the north, um, you, uh, it, it looks like that the cave starts to, like, branch off into, like, a direction to the left and direction to the life, uh, to the right. Um, there's a main cave mouth that appears to be coming to the right that goes steeply upwards, uh, the stream plunging and splashing down its west side, um, and then you see kind of a side passage, so you can't see too, too much, but... It doesn't look like there's any other goblins within this section. Okay. Um, cool, some cool, cool. time passes, and the two goblins haven't come out. Oh, mm. dear. Are your friends right? Irk when kind of looks around. Irk kind of looks around and is like, Don't know. Sh cave not very deep. Should have been back by now. I uh, yeah. It's possible they decided to turn on us. It's well, possible. They did, and we so shall they be did ready. seem pretty oh, thoroughly yeah. scared by our uh, demon friend here. <laughs> uh, Say, uh, what is this eating room that you speak of? Is it for people to eat or for people to be eaten? Oh, uh, so uh, Paget and Urk kind of look at each other like, I, uh, kind of look at each other. Uh, Pajet says, "Eating room, place where we eat and live and sleep." Mm. So more like a more like a catch-all sort of room. Irk shakes his head. That's the, we brought human in there to interrogate, but that but that was a while ago. Mm. Hmm. I wonder if I might check upon them, but at the same time, it might be wait. Irk, Irk kind of looks ahead. I, Irk, Irk could go ahead and check. I Dude, don't think that's a good idea. The way I see it, if How about we let Irk lead the way? Why not oh, lead I... us there? Uh, 
Can you say that again, Haruka? Sorry. Why not lead us there? Urk, Urk could do that. Um, also, I, Mallet and Eden t spoke over each other, and I couldn't hear either one of them. I'm sorry. No, it's no, okay. it's okay. It's gonna happen. I just, what did both <laughs> exactly. of you say? I'm trying to get clarification on what both of you had said. There, That's alright, there, yeah. There's Discord lag. It's a thing. <laughs> so, uh, Eden, I, I'll start with you, Eden. Go ahead. I, I said that Urk could just lead us there. Urk could lead us uh, to the cave. And Mala, what did you say? The way I see it, if there's even a chance of Gundren being in there, uh, I think it's probably best if we all go in there at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because we don't know what happened to these last two single shot blimps that we did, did you just say did you just say Gundren? <laughs> oh, to my lord. <laughs> so good. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll cool it on that for a little bit. <laughs> um Ur Can that get claimed? I I think it's too short to be claimed. It's like eight notes. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it's too like short certain, to be claimed. Yeah, certain music things need a lot more than that in order to uh you know, get claimed by anything, so. Yeah. Alright. We're good, Jay. Uh, so, so, Urk, Urk kind of shakes his head and is like, Urk, Urk can, Urk, Urk can lead and starts kind of popping a little bit into, into the cave. Right. Lead him. Alright, then. Yeah, that uh, Andrus will do a small bow. <laughs> Andrus does a small bow to, um, Chiron. Leader. <laughs> Pray lead on, my lord. The big scary demon <laughs> first, huh? I hate you all. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, just inside the cave now, um, to your east, you see a few uneven stone steps ascending into a small, dank chamber on the east side of the passage. Um, the cave, uh, in there, you kind of hear some kind of like growling, grunting, and and like barking. Dogs? I, er, I, what, Haruka, you, sorry. Do you have dogs? Er kind of looks back. We we have wolves. Wolves oh. used for protection. Oh, I <clears> see. <throat> <laughs> is, is someone using a cave sound effect thing? I. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> So Urk kind of goes <laughs> into this chamber, <clears throat> and as you kind of go in, you see three wolves that are uh, that are chained to uh, to a pillar. Uh, the, the the wolves kind of uh, kind of see everybody popping in and immediately kind of start growling at all of you. Urk kind of comes <laughs> forward and and tries to calm down at least one of the wolves. Uh, the other two are still like looking at the rest of you very rarely. Yes, rarely. Um, let's see. I know Do they I have aren't. Fuck, I don't. <laughs> they aren't familiar with me or anything. But can I try animal handling to try to calm them down a little bit? Of course you can. I knew the druid would try this. Right, I was gonna think Chiron's even gonna look at Graham Nam before even suggesting that, like, uh, <laughs> you, you talk to horses before, you can handle these, right? <laughs> it's, okay. it's okay, buddies, don't worry. That, well. Wow, yeah. Um, so, um, uh, Graham Nam, you, you kind of approach the, the, the others and, and, uh, and start kind of trying to soothe and, and relax them. A little bit, and the wolves. The, one of the wolves to the north kind of like starts wagging his tail at you and, and flips on, uh, revealing his underbelly. Aww. <laughs> You're such good little Her Karka is girls. barely veiling her. <laughs> so, so Urk kind of looks over and, at, at you, Grandma, and is like, You know how to handle wolf. Aye. Well, I've been uh, <clears throat> spending a little more time with nature these past few years it, uh, so so Urk kind of kind of looks you through a little bit and kind of like uh, not nods his head it, it, it can tell you feel very very in one with spirits I'll take that as a compliment thank you very much uh, yeah. Urk 
kind of looks at the rest of you. If you if you continue up this passage here, you can get to eating room. I, I stay here to make sure wolves don't go crazy and alert rest of rest of cave. Pajat, lead the way. Pajat kind of nervously starts heading a little bit more towards to the north. Okay. I will, uh... Before leaving, Chiron's gonna go over to Urk and just do one of those nice, respectful lean-in whispers. Uh, if you decide to backstab us, it'll be the last thing you get to do. <laughs> Urk kind of goes, looks over at Chiron and is like, Yes, sir, sir, sir. Me, me, I just protect with, with wolves. Uh, I can release wolves to help you if need be. Oh. Uh, help, help them that. The gaze is going to go over to Gramnom. This is his expertise, not not Gyro. <laughs> Clearly. Um, let's see. I, I will give one ration each to each of the wolves. Okay. Okay. The, give the, the good boys treatos. The, exactly. the wolves kind of like grab them and then start eating them very happily and kind of look up at you like and and kind of give an understanding nod. All right, we're good. Uh, Ur Urk kind of kind of shouts, "Be be careful! There there are other dangers around." And uh and kind of as you as you all leave the the uh the. The, the passage, you, you kind of get the feeling he has a little bit of a smirk on his face. Mm, I'm sure. All right, so you have two paths here. You can either go west Ky or east. Before leaving, Chiron's literally going to do that eye thing, you know, where you point to the eyes, point to the goblin, <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> you, you, you hear Urk uh, grumble something in a goblin as you leave. I'll just mimic it. Not knowing what everyone said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm so, sorry. Like, what was that? <laughs> did, did Kel... You hear yelling from another chamber. <laughs> did did, did, did Calibrin hear what was mimicked by? <laughs> uh, uh, so, mm, <clears throat> do a perception check. Sure. Uh, I'm just gonna roll that to see if you were. Can can figure right. it out. Eleven. Uh, you kind of get the feeling it was a if you survive type of thing. Oh boy. Mm. <laughs> so, but you know there was there is infernal inflection there that you didn't quite understand. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, like I said, you have two paths. You can either go to the west or the east. I believe we should go to the the eating hall first. Yes. Pajet Pajet kind of shakes his head. That 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 be uh, any points over towards towards the west. That be up there, but there's they they they're kind of come on. My my thing's not working. Hold on. Oh no. Oh. Scuff, one no. second. There we go. It it be up <laughs> that way, but but steep steep hill. Be careful. Right. Uh, Lead on. He he. He he nervously, Pichette is like, I I, I don't want to go up first. Ah, is it a trap? So, there no trap, but but Pichette not the most nimble goblin. Um, I am inciting the shit out of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they try to go and scruff him. Uh, and you can, all you him. gotta do is tap and hold somewhere on the map, and it'll ping it. Um, you get the feeling, Haruka, that Pajet is not lying and he just is terrible at climbing. Uh, I'm gonna gonna have Chiron go up to him and scruff him. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, pick him up by the back of the shirt or armor oh. or whatever. <laughs> but, but, what? 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 He's taking so, you. He's you, taking you with him. About climbing if I'm carrying you. Oh, 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 oh. I get. I, I. You put me on shoulder. Yeah. Oh. You, I don't know how you can hear, but but I'm face palm. So Chiron. <laughs> I heard something. I heard like a thump. Yeah, that was that was my face palm. Um, 
<laughs> Pudget will be a parrot now. Pudget okay. looks excited. Understood. Um, um uh, you probably do a strength check for me. Oh no. Nope. <laughs> so, so as you go to uh, grab Pajet, uh, and, and kind of put him on your shoulders, you realize he's a lot heavier than what he looks, and you start to kind of uh, lose your balance a little bit. Um, would you and... rather I carried? Might be smart. <laughs> Just put him down. Yeah. <laughs> Pajet was like, "That was fun, right? Do it again." Pajet, come here. I shall carry instead. Pajet, Pajet runs over to Haruka, and Haruka, make a strength check for me, please. Oh, do. <laughs> Guidance. Plus four. It's extra funny that I didn't do that for um. Eighteen. <laughs> yeah, her, um... Eighteen. Beautiful. Uh, but you you easily not understanding why Chiron couldn't lift this very, very not heavy <laughs> goblin. You just you just kind of lift him up and just kind of pop him on your shoulders, and he. Looks excited beyond belief right now. I get smiles. There you are. It's time to get a baby carrier for this goblin. <laughs> yes. Why? Why? why well, th this is. Is Pajet a guy or girl? Uh, Pajet is a guy. Okay. Um, this is getting a little weird. <laughs> a, little, a little, a little strange. Ari doesn't no. mind. She has a friend. Um, oh, yeah. Pajet never been this high up know. before. In, in general, that is the party's the reaction. To... <laughs> <laughs> and that is me. <laughs> All right. Dear Lord. Um... Okay, so, so looking to this uh, path to the west, it's it, it it does definitely look steep. It wouldn't be very hard to. What happened to my music? Did it not loop? My music didn't loop. Hold on. Oops. I wanted the mm. ambient music. Thank you. There we go. Oh, that was a big yawn. Um. So it it doesn't look extremely steep at all. And Haruki, you kind of get the feeling that Vegeta just wanted to be carried because he's lazy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> so. You uh you can easily move up. It's just going to require. It's considered rough terrain, so it'll take a little bit hard. It, it'll take a little bit longer to get up there. That's fine. Uh, I do need to have at least uh, a person who's going to be leading to the west. <laughs> Who is going in the chamber first? Uh, not you me. Take, I will stay on this path. I, I guess that's going to be me since I'm the grand leader of this. <laughs> group. Precisely. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I will follow directly okay. behind. Chiron. So, Chiron, can you please make me a perception check? A uh, ten. Uh, better than the other not one. Awful. <laughs> that, that was better. Um. Okay. So, as you start. Uh, going a little bit further down the chamber, you think you hear something above you. Ooh. I'm going to stop and try to f see if I can hear anything specifically standing okay. out. Okay. Um. So, as you look up, um... Oh my god, really? <laughs> <laughs> also, also to, to convey what he's doing, he's going to tap his ear and point upwards as, okay. as like a, a silent signal to the others that he heard something. I nod. So as you continue going further in the chamber, all of a sudden you hear this noise coming from above you. Hmm. Do you know what that is? Parka asked Jet. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hark, Hi. I just asked Pajet if Oh, I'm sorry. He knows I'm sorry. What that is. I, I entirely did not hear the Pajet part. Um Yeah, the microphone cut off, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, I was like, wait a minute, why did it get quiet? What did I miss something? Um so uh 
Pidgeot kind of just shrugs his shoulders, uh, shrugs his shoulders like we have a snake problem. Ah, <laughs> what a define what a problem. <laughs> uh, he kind of points up and says, "That looked like big one." Yes. Uh, oh and gosh. The giant poisonous snake comes down from the ceiling and attacks Chiron. And you can all roll for initiative. Alrighty. Oh uh, dear. Uh, time for a fight. <laughs> Let me just get this in the right oh, layer. Yeah, we don't. We don't want to oh. roll until the initiative counter is going. Right. Oh, okay. Just give me a second to get yeah. the initiative counter up. Uh, oh yes. Is it? There, we there go. it is. Not bad. There we oh, wait, go. It's there. Okay. I registered it. It still registered. Usually it doesn't. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. I got a sixteen. Uh, that's not bad. But also Haruka with the nineteen. Ooh. Our new. Just give me one minute while I roll initiative for this thing. There we go. Or is just in there. Like, son of a bitch, get back here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, as I have to, do, to to try to get rid of everything that's on my screen right now. There we go. So we'll do that. Um. So the giant poisonous snake will get a a, a sneak attack in on Chiron. Well, not a sneak attack, but a, a surprise, surprise round. A, a surprise yeah. round from there. So he's gonna try to bite Chiron. Rude. Uh, okay. Does a 16 hit? Yes. Cool. <laughs> you get dealt uh, five oh, piercing no. damage. Ow. <laughs> cool. And Yay. now it's top of combat. So, Haruka, you're up. All right. Oh, Haru bad, so I see. Just, po is. just piercing? Look over it here. It is just. So uh, I can so just see this moment. Yes, yes. Uh, just piercing for this round, yes. Kaya, be a deer and duck for me, won't you? <laughs> Chiron will duck? <laughs> 14 hit? Oh. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Ignore that, does hit. Ignore that roll. I do not know why it keeps changing my dagger to be my mirrors, but it does. <laughs> That's weird. That is so weird. All right. So, um, <coughs> Eldritch Bat. Okay. So, as Chiron ducks, oh, Oops. <coughs> you end up putting a giant, uh, a, 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 oh my god. I can never describe an Eldritch Blast. I know what it looks like, but like, a pew pew, pew, pew. <laughs> sure, yeah, sure. Or a a uh all of a sudden like this crackling energy uh of of uh energy goes out of Haruka's staff. Paris is very sparkly. <laughs> yeah, Haruka sparkles. Energy beam goes and and uh, attacks the giant poisonous snake right in its mouth as it's trying to like get on. <laughs> on. No. <laughs> pushing it, pushing it back a little bit. Mala, you are up. Uh, all right, we're gonna basically just do the same thing. Kyron, stay down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be the leader here, but he's gonna stay down. Anyway. <laughs> You're also having eldritch beams flying above your head. I don't think you want to be hit by that. No. Why does this make me want to do an all warlock party at some point? Well, <laughs> that'd be so funny. Um, okay. <laughs> so you, uh, so Mal attempts to do the same thing, but uh, but ends up hitting the top of the cave where the snake came from before, with mm. the beam just kind of dissipating. Oof. And with that, it's going to be the snake's turn, which, uh, um, oh no, <laughs> ooh, oh no, indeed. Oh um, no. Let's see. I guess the snake can only really hit one person, so. Yeah, Unless it's it only got one choice. Around. Yep. Chiron, are you ready for the snake to go and try to bite you again? Yeah. Let's Yay. go. <laughs> Welcome to Rocket Launcher Dodgeball, baby. <laughs> uh so the snake go uh seeing an opening again, the snake goes and uh and attempts to to uh bite Chiron, but Chiron is able to see it this time and, and dodge out of the way. And it's Chiron's turn now. Stab! <laughs> Yeah, Kyron's just gonna pull a dagger and just try to stab this thing, like, as quickly as possible. <laughs> There's a threat. Hang on. Uh, do I just click the... There we go. 
Hey! Well, yeah, attacker. you know what? That's, it's a, wow, it's double, such a double, shame wait. you can't sneak attack on that. <laughs> that is a crit. Uh, actually, was that a <laughs> double twenty? Yeah, yes. double not twenty. That's oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Damn. Um, but <laughs> okay. where's the second die? The dice on the screen says Do one. I... But <laughs> there's there's only one die. You need to roll another D4. Yeah, roll another D4. I do? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All nice. right. That looks like nice. how do you want to How do you want to massacre this snake? <laughs> Going for its skull? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it bit me, and I'm just going to bite it back with my, you know, dagger. That's all. Dagger. As, as the dagger kind of pierces pierces the, the, snake's, the snake's head, you kind of see, like... Uh, you see the dagger go straight through its skull as it kind of swirls around for a second and goes limp. What? How big is this snake? It is pretty damn big. Let me look at his character sheet. Super or, or how much? How much is it? Uh, how heavy is it? Let me let me look at the character sheet of it quickly. Um, this is a, it's it's a medium sized beast. Oh God. So it's giant. That's huge. That's yes. huge for a snake. Big snake. And so when this thing like collapses, it kind of almost it takes up a lot of the passage. Gremnom, do you want to give this to the wolves? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was. I mean, maybe, but it also might poison them. So I was thinking we could give it That's to the goblins. The wolves eat. <laughs> Snakes all the time. Uh, Pat, venom Patrick and poison are two entirely different things. Venom only well, yeah, that is how takes poison effect. Works, but it's, all right, I, I, I rolled it, that one. Venom, venom only actual, takes effect uh, if it's introduced in venous. <laughs> <laughs> Pajet chimes in. We don't need snakes in here. Snakes just use the security. Huh? Oh, so we killed their security. This is going well. Oops. <laughs> also, Chiron's looking exceptionally bloodied. <laughs> Surprise all this ruckus isn't alerting the whole cave. <laughs> Me and the boys put on a show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I rolled a one. Wait, what did you roll the one? <laughs> no, I'm doing the, the, the thing. Me and the boys are gonna mess you up. I rolled a one. Uh, I rolled a I one. Rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Perception check is hard, motherfucker. Um, nobody likes you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So after the snake has been slain, uh, you can easily keep moving along this west passage. Okay. The north, the northwest passage. The northwest passage, since that's where you were going to. Uh, <laughs> would to you like me to go seat? in front? To find the Beaufort seat? Chiron. <laughs> uh, yes, if anyone can help me with, you know. Yeah, Chiron's yeah. looking a little the bloody. Bite there. Wound. I might be able to. Yeah. I can right, hit me. with an Eldritch blast, All maybe. Right. <laughs> 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 Why do I get myself into these things? <laughs> Worry not. All right, oh. you get healed for five HP, Chiron. I'm back nice. up to full. Yay! Nice. Woohoo! Woo so this is just going to be the amazing adventures of Chiron's fluctuating HP. <laughs> <laughs> Harry looks over at Pajet, who is still sitting on her shoulder. <laughs> what did you think of that? You, you you are strong. You you mm -hmm. definitely can take out Clark. Oh yes, <laughs> that is absolutely the plan. Uh, <laughs> Caliber uh, just looks uh, like he's done with this shit. <laughs> uh, uh, Chiron looks like he's done with this shit. P Pajet kind of yells at Chiron. You're doing good, <laughs> demon leader. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Also, that snake dagger. didn't see it. Come on, that that snake didn't even see you coming with that dagger. Tyrone is going to step to the side and let let Andrus take the lead now. <laughs> Andrus fully knew this was going to happen and just let it happen. 
They, they were right. actually at the top of the turn order, and they're just like, yeah, it's, it's fine. He's got it. <laughs> so let me go ahead and remove the turn order now. Boop. Boop. There we go. All right. So, um, as, uh, so Andrus, you keep going uh, a little bit until you reach the very top of the, of the, the passage, which would be about right here. Um, and you notice that the path kind of leads like two ways. Um, to the, to the, uh, uh, to the, to the east seems to be kind of another path where you hear a little bit of, uh, running water, almost like that's where the stream might, might, uh, meet. But to the west looks like there is a much larger cave or, or room in the cave. Uh, Paget kind of chimes in. Ah, ah, you see eating room up there. Uh, Andrus will point knowing that this goblin probably doesn't know his left and right. <laughs> uh which way is andrus pointing uh andrus is okay i also don't know my left and right so don't... that's okay you can <laughs> ping which way you're pointing to so yeah South. okay uh 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 Paget is like yes yes that 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 eating eating cave uh so Paget kind of jumps off of um haruka and kind of like pushes andrus out of the way and kind of pops forward into the room and, and, and looks around a little bit. Huh, that that odd. No nope, no one no one in here right now? Strange. Um as as he looks as as Andrews enters, you notice that this is a large cave that is divided in half by a ten foot high uh escarpment. Uh escape escarpment, yes. A steep escarpment. natural staircase leads from the lower portion to the upper ledge. The air is hazy with the smoke of a cooking fire. A pungent, uh, a pungent from the smell of poorly cured hides, and potentially some unwashed goblins that were in here. Pajet kind of. There are washed goblins. I, apparently, there are washed goblins, <laughs> but not in this room, since this is seems to be you, you, the, the eating room, as Pajet says. Normally, goblin buddies are in here. Ye make always in here. Hmm. Oh, I wonder what happened to them. Is the cook fire still going? Uh, the the fire is still going. There is one right uh, to the northwest that still seems to be lit. Well, they cannot have gone far as the fire is... Perhaps they needed to use the little goblin. Uh, Pajet was like, th th this odd, and starts to pop up the, the staircase. All and right. kind of goes out of view. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Celebrant prepares to Do follow. I hear any yelps? <laughs> After a couple seconds, you start to hear a ah! from Pajet. Oh, I'm <laughs> running behind up the him. Stairs. Up the stairs. <laughs> and as you I'm just sitting the back. Stairs, like, God Yimik, fucking damn it. You make oh, next to Pajet with, with a, uh, with a uh, scimitar to his head being like, You intruders! Goblins told about! Um, as you look around you notice that there's a lot of goblins in here you see about five goblins Emic, and a human that seems to be a little bit further back where two goblins seem to be guarding him that's a lot of goblins I cast sleep on them <laughs> uh, <laughs> nah night night oh. time <laughs> oh, okay um, um... roll it Sure, you you can you can go ahead and cast sleep. Uh, to help with this, I'm gonna press the digitation a uh, lullaby. <laughs> oh gosh, sleep! Oh, I need to make a lot of. Uh, you don't need to make a saving roll. I need to roll five d eight. Okay, gotcha. Uh, roll high, roll high, roll high, roll high. I around looking, gonna look at Caliburn and be like, maybe you uh, were right about us being chaotic. We just were um, <laughs> hiding it well. <laughs> Here we go. Give the total roll. Holy shit! Okay. That is That'll a work. Roll. Yeah, that that's pretty good. So let's go. What happens is just uh, the lowest hit points you take away, and then once they equal zero, that person is asleep, and then you go to the next one. Um, next, is, next. So, is it my? Is it your choice or my choice for that? Um, it is. It's, it's I uh, really circled. It's, 
So it, I don't know how to make those. Was... Oh, uh, so, so wherever the, sp the spot is, okay. Yeah. Where are you going to put the circle? Creatures after. within 20 feet of a point you choose. So... I, there's no way I don't. I don't think I can get all of them without getting um. Uh, the human. So most likely he's going yeah, down. You, but you then I'll be uh, the rest of them. Sleep. All right. Cool. So th so um, let me get l let me do my maths in my head for a second. Um, where is going to be? A, is there a sleep symbol somewhere here? There should be. Right. I'm pretty sure there is. Like. My, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this ah. one, this one right here, cool. that I just put on me. Yes, yes, I see it. All right. Um, hold on one second. This is gonna take. That has to be the highest roll for sleep I've ever seen. I know that is so yeah. crazy. There. Um. God, I keep pushing the wrong I, thing. I, I just blame it this. on, on Andrew having to, you know, <laughs> clean up chaos in the past this is just like reflex <laughs> <laughs> wow <sighs> hold on uh... okay cool um, um so emic i think i did that math right hold on oh wow okay hold on there so uh uh Yemek starts to kind of be like, "Ha, you, you will not be able to slay my god." And then he looks behind him. My goblin, are... <laughs> why are you all sleeping? This is not what we paid to do. We here to kill Pajet and the intruders. <laughs> and, and, did and, did and... you not hear me cast the spell? I... Uh, it is vocal. It is vocal component. I, yeah. I heard you yell yeah, no, something. No, 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 that's fully in character. <laughs> I, I heard you yell something, but that is, but I thought my goblins were... Ugh. Oh, so kind of let, just... let me translate it. Um, <laughs> I, I said in magic speak, um, Everybody go, go to sleep, to sleep. <laughs> or you'll die. <laughs> it, 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 so Emic starts to back up to where the human is. Take another step and the human dies. These are, are uh, um, I'm gonna try and bluff my way through it. Uh, it's like, um, I we've already defeated, defeated your entire army. Why don't you just help us dethrone, uh, Clut? Uh, do he? We the 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 humans. There's one human. Is like one goblin, you know. It's uh, I don't I, I don't think you realize how how little you've got to bargain with. Um, do a would that be persuasion or would that be? I would say based on wording, it would be. It does sound like persuasion to me. Yeah. Okay, I can do that Ooh. if I can. Oh, hi, baby. Read. Yep. Oh! Does the oh, oh, damn? Does the cleric have sanctuary prepared by chance? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you Me make... and my boy is gonna mess you up. I rolled a one <laughs> twice. Oh, <laughs> double natural ones. What the crap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we had so, a double nat twenty. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh. So. So. Uh. Yemen <laughs> kind of looks around and and he's like. <laughs> They all weak. They, they all just just weak. Uh, Clark Clark easily kill any of us. This human totally worth it since he has information about dwarf. He he worth a lot more than you all are. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna poke Kyron. What like, do you hey, mean? She's we just know gonna the walk dwarf in too. there. I got you. <laughs> um. <laughs> then you should know why he I... was taken away. How how high is the ceiling above us? Uh, the ceiling is... Is it connected to the wall? The ceiling is connected... Uh, the ceiling is about uh, about 30 feet above you. So huh. the wall right here is 10 feet. Yes. So you can get above it. Yes. Um, 
Chiron's gonna just literally fly over everyone and land in the other room and um in in a as calm as possible give me one reason not to burn this entire room right now intimidation <laughs> roll please <laughs> oh, watch. Oh, <laughs> all right well that's uh, an 11 okay okay um <laughs> Um, the, the ones are real today, guys. Man, whoa. <laughs> so, so the goblin the kind of looks looks around a little bit, is like, and and and, and kind of looks up and it's, and looks at Pajet and is like, "This is the demon you brought over. This is nothing, Clark. Much scarier than this pathetic thing." Oh. All right. And I, uh, in order to help oh, with dude. the intimidation, I'm going to uh, press the digitation like from this room because it'll echo into the room that they're in okay a uh like dragon roar or something oh god <laughs> and uh i'll try to help with that by druid crafting maybe like the let's see maybe like burnt goblin flesh smell or something <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna go for more of a deceptive deception and just go for the the like I've cut down more goblins than you could even count, which is probably um, like two. But you, know, we're gonna do you can you can roll with advantage for that because of all the rest of the shenaniganery going on. A uh, seventeen. <laughs> okay, I'd say okay. that's pretty damn successful. So between be, between the 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 sounds coming from the eating cave and and the smell that that Nemec, uh kind of starts to sniff around, he he kind of backs backs up a little bit, like b behind this human, and and <laughs> and it's like, D -d 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 don't eat me. I'm just following orders! <laughs> you also, have new orders. Help Adam's us kill Clank. This is the most bardic rogue nope, I've ever Clank. played. Nice. <laughs> and it's with the help of a warlock and a druid. I mean, to be fair, bard rogue is an incredible Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Double expertise. <laughs> You, you make... We're all gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you make looks. Oh, I turned my headset down. Hold on, I cannot hear anything. There we go. Now I can hear things. Um. So so you. you Hello. You make, you, you make looks over looks over at Andrus and and is and I, I I I I can't help. I'm 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 weak. I, I'm weak as the three bosses. You got past Urk already. Urk is on our side. Everybody's on our side. We're gonna be fine. Plus, you said these these guys are weak. Let them die for you first. I'm just gonna yell from the back. All, All the, the others, others in the cave that uh, didn't, didn't go with us are now dead. Mm -hmm. You you kind of you, you kind of see Yimek kind of recompose himself just just for like a second. Is like. Eh. Are you sure Urk is on your side? Where's Urk? He's Ur back Urk is wolves. with the wolves. Urk is with the Making sure us. So yes, I'm that's, fairly certain. That's not what his goblin scouts said when they came in. <laughs> and now they are unconscious on the ground. I'm sure they regret that. Yumik kind of points at the goblin closest to him. Seeing, like, seeing if he can get him to wake up while you are talking still. Uh, if he if he actively, like, shakes to force him, force him awake, he will wake up. He, he, uh... I would not but do such a thing. If it's just like a right. light just, kick, it just, probably like, won't he, work. He's just poking the other goblin right now. Like in fear, being like, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Come on, come on. How does this work? What's this magic? What's this magic? <laughs> you could um, um, join them. I'm a little worried about the duration of sleep. How long does sleep last? A minute. A minute. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
you could Probably always where join all... us. Can you say that again, Haruka? You could always join us. Yimik kind of looks and thinks, it looks around and is like, if kill Pachat and I join you. Ooh. Oh, but Pachat is our leader. Why would we do that? Pachat weak as goblin in tribe. Yimik is the real oh. leader. Pachat is Pajet. Even but if he's... Pajet's the weakest goblin in the tribe, he's got a demon friend. Some of them mighty demon. But why would you want, want weak goblin when you could have clearly, strong goblin? It, clearly the strongest of the goblins will be the leader once we dispose of uh, Cliss Bank. Fuck. Okay, so <laughs> obviously both of you know who that is. You know if you're the strongest, so you know you're going to be the leader. Um, so, to Yimik, yeah, I ain't going to kick your butt. And Yimik is like, oh, really? <laughs> you little thing, you want to see my bolt in your butt? And then they just start arguing and goblin. Uh, oh, please. <laughs> Chiron's going to say to Andrus, do you realize you're just going to like plummet this place into anarchy? Like at that. Let us settle this later. <laughs> You, you start to notice some of the goblins in the room are starting to regain consciousness. Call them off. Caliber Cal just draws his sword. No, no. put it back. So, Gramnam, how long does your druidcraft last? Let me see. Because <clears throat> I feel like waking up to the smell of burning goblin flesh uh, yeah, it's, would uh, kind of terrify oh wait, them regardless. Guidance. Um, duration instantaneous. Uh, <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't <see>. help. <laughs> I know, right? Um, it does not say. I'm gonna um, assume. That I mean, it's basically I could like just continue to cast it. It's not like yeah. it's, it's a it's a cantrip, so <laughs> 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 I could just be like. Uh, burnt goblin smell. Six seconds later, burnt goblin smell. <laughs> <laughs> burnt goblin smell, but stronger. <laughs> exactly. So I will. Uh, the goblins will wake up after, like, let's say after whatever the next quote unquote action you guys want to do, mm. or say, or whatever. Call them off. Well, I'm just like, I don't know what to do here. I'm just like. I feel like things are about to go to chaos real freaking fast here. <laughs> Alright, who's who's the goblin leader currently, like right here? That one right there. Yeah, that currently guy, the group. Like in the back. Okay, yes. I'll... I mean, I guess I'll step over these goblins and be like... <laughs> we have been given the easy out of just killing Pudget now. Uh, True. Uh, I but also have to be take that. <laughs> um, Pudget's <laughs> friend! <laughs> We also, right. we also can easily try to convince these goblins that it was their leader that let us in and not Pajet. They are asleep. They don't know what happened. <laughs> and I'm All just right. going to look at the goblin knowingly. <laughs> like... Can I go over and just just pick up the goblin leader by the like scruff of his fucking collar as I see yes. the others waking up. Yes, you, you could do that. Yes. Um, and um, I, I, I'll, I'll turn to the other goblins as, as um, the, as they're waking up and I've got the leader in their thing. Um, uh, your your leader has been defeated. You have all felt the power of my magic. Yield uh, before I squish you like I can this bug in my mitts. Uh, 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 intimidation. That's definitely okay. intimidation. Yeah. Also, soon I oh, yeah. sent you a uh, DM of a idea. Of yes. Uh, Mala, and meanwhile, are... I'm ready to roll initiative here. Just. Uh, 
Do I get so, any bonus from the goblin flesh burning smell? Uh, <laughs> yes, you do. You do. Um, I will say you have advantage on this roll. Let's go. Okay, thank God. I rolled two net ones last time, so. Oh boy. <laughs> Me and my boys gonna mess you up. I rolled two ones. <laughs> one. okay, well, a fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Okay. Um. Um. So no, as no, the no, goblins no, start waking up and, and seeing this, uh, uh, the, the, you you start hearing kind of some mummer mummering going around, and and uh, three of them will say these. Th uh, we're gonna say these three kind of look a little bit terrified and start trying to jump down the cliff <laughs> over here. A fun. <laughs> Uh, I would like. The, oh, sorry. The other two kind of like laugh and said, "Yemit can't be beaten that easily," and start drawing their their swords. I would like I'm to add, my happy. mace is in Yemit's face, and my mace would be the size of his head. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, the mace would be completely <laughs> hiding the face. So Ma mace to the face. <laughs> as far as these two can see, um, the head's gone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh god. Um hmm. hmm. <laughs> um Are you part of that maybe? Crushed bug. I'm trying to think. Uh so you're kind of hiding his face with yes, your Yes, behind the mace. Okay. But he's not um, like he's conscious, so he can like respond, right? Yes. I, I think he's just pissing in my hand. Because <laughs> he's, 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 he's all of them are being intimidated right now. Yes, yes. So I would say roll another intimidation with advantage. Okay. <laughs> 14. 14. 14. Nice. My lucky the, number, I guess. One of the other goblins starts to back back away, but the other one is like, "Let him go. That way, I can be new Yemic." Right, uh, now is my turn. Because, uh, right. so, you know, I'm going to attempt that idea that I sent you. Okay. I'm going okay. to use prestidigitation to amplify my voice and speak in abyssal to try and intimidate them away from attacking us. Ooh. That will be a... What are you going... Well, what what are you going to say in abyssal? Not that I even... Uh, just it. complete I gibberish. Can. Okay, beautiful. Grandmom's gonna understand that it's just gibberish. However, I was like, "Wait, what? You're saying it? I thought you were saying it in Inferno." Uh, intimidation with advantage, because these goblins suck. All right, sixteen. Um, all of these goblins start pissing their pants and start running out of the cave. <laughs> Alright, cool. I'll go next to the human right here. Oh, I, I was just about stuff. to go and untie him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, we can do that together. I don't, I don't yeah. know if letting them tie. run is a, is a good idea, guys. I just I just want to... Oh, it's, it's probably, probably not. Yeah, uh, they're probably going to get later, but we'll be fine. That's a future us problem. That's a future you problem. I, I just moved him a Kyra, little bit. Kyra's just going to shrug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Wow, that is not how. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> if I if I had a tear paper thing right now, I'd do it. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, so um, the the human that they were uh, holding, um, he's uh, he he just starts waking up. He he's he is about a middle aged human. Uh, very kind of like knightly looking, kind of has an old kind face to him. Um, uh, ends up kind of just lo looking up, uh, kind of dark, darkish hair. Uh, looks like an adventurer who's seen many, many days. He ends up wearing the, a, uh, kind of what looks like a guard's outfit, except with the colors of yellow and red. And on the front of, uh, of his outfit has an insignia of what looks to be a shield. Can um, I history this? Yes, you can history this. Caliber doesn't need to. 14! <laughs> <laughs> um, so can I also? Yes, yes. If you want to make a history check on the insignia, you will you'll be able to. Would religion and Caliburn apply? Caliburn actually doesn't need to. 
Yes, if I remember Calibrand. what you said. Yes, Calibran does not need to. Um, I have no idea. Beautiful. <laughs> um, so, uh, Haruka uh, and and Calibran immediately uh, and well, I, I would say anyone who rolled above a ten recognizes this as the um, as the insignia of the Adventurers Guild known as the Lion Shields. Ah. Which. If you remember, all the way back in there was uh, I do. one of those famous, uh, uh, famous adventurer guilds that had uh, uh, a lot of uh, areas uh, uh, and adventurers who are who are kind of like the top pristine people for helping out others. So this is one of those adventurers, and as he kind of um, as he kind of regains consciousness a little bit from from there, he kind of looks up and is like. And sees Pajet on one side, and he's like, "Ah, oh, these blood bloody goblins still have me." No, but no, I heard so much. No, hold, hold on, <laughs> hold on. They are with us. And then, and then he looks up and sees, "You all don't look like goblins." Because we are not. Well, I would so. <laughs> <hope not. laughs> we are here to rescue you. Uh, Chiron's gonna mock whatever the goblin gibberish he's heard as he's stretching out. <laughs> obviously, obviously not liking what's going on. You did oh. what to my mother? <laughs> <laughs> you want to know? <laughs> oh my god! It's a, it's a tale still be telling for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, geez. So, uh, can you stand? I. Uh, I, I I think so. As he tries to kind of get yeah. up, he like winces in, in pain. It's like, Easy. Oh, um, You're uh, still injured. Oh, what, what? Where am I? What? 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 what Who are all of you? We are friends, Gundren. <sighs> we were Gundren. hired to. We were hired to. Pull his carriage, Fandolin. But we found sh where you were ambushed just before. So you're you're that hired help Gundren has been like speaking high praises of okay, but then he must be with you, right? <laughs> we haven't found him. Not quite yet. Such. You're the first we found. It's uh, on the to-do list. Uh oh 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 jeez. We know where they're holding him. Yes, thankfully. We um, think. Is, is the is the other goblin still conscious? Conscious? Uh, you make. I was gonna conscious. say yes, yes. The, the, this whole I'm... conversation's just happening, and me and the <laughs> goblin are just having a staring one day. Pretty much, yes, <laughs> yes. As he makes like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just like shut the fuck up. <laughs> Chiron's just gonna be like, I get the feeling this that you guys should a... be the type of villains that just expose your whole plan right in front of the hero. <laughs> this is just this is such a unique way to handle this situation. Gosh. <laughs> and then he's just gonna he's just gonna motion over towards the goblin who's still conscious, who now knows everything. I was absolutely going to try and like mow them down. Just like out of character. Just so it's well aware. I was going to try and mow them down, but then I had a funnier idea. <laughs> if, if if there had been combat Calibrin would have actually just been walking forward and cutting the, the, the necks of the ones that were asleep. <laughs> yes. That would have been, may have been much easier, but you know. True. It's also like just. This situation is going to be evil. funnier in the long run. Yeah. So I, I guess right now you have this human which uh, who is very gravely hurt, um, and you have Yemek who is still kind of, you know, being being held up. Uh, by his his neck collar whatever by Andrus. So which one do you want to deal with first? Um, I mean I can I how how gravely injured are we talking? Um, he uh he looks like he has been beaten badly, to the point of okay. almost near death. All right. Um, I want to use Goodberry, and like just give him all. Give him the snacky. <laughs> <laughs> just like here, eat oh. this. Oh yeah. Thank you, kind sir. How much does that heal? It's one points. HP each, and it creates ten. Oh, ten. It ten. How many are yeah. you giving him? I mean, all of them. Okay, so Why this is. I'll, I'll I'll tell the party like this is my last like. Well, I mean, 
this is my last first level spell for today. <laughs> Are, is everyone else good? Like, you have two warlocks. We just get a short rest, and we're good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I haven't so used I'll... any. Of, I haven't been able to use any of my power yet. It's yeah, annoying. It's... Just a touch out of my grasp for the moment. All right. So I will. I will be uh, slightly cautious and give him nine. Okay. Keep, cool. I'll keep one. Cool. Just in case. They also <laughs> count as full meals. Yes. yes they will. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank. Thank you. Thank you, kind dwarf. I. Oh. I, I I think at least I I can't exactly see much. I'm I, I only hear voices and feel people touching me, and that's about it. And it's really creeping me out. Yeah. Uh, Karu will pick up a little pebble from off and cast light on it. Ah. Uh, oh right, it's <laughs> dark vision. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. All right. Yeah. Cool. I am just going to set this up super quickly. Um. As like, as oh, yeah. the Pebble like 300 feet of dark vision is the only way we can fucking see anything. <laughs> right, and and this human does not, and, he, and then he kind of looks up and sees all of you, and it's like, oh, oh, wow, Gundred has made interesting friends. I, I see. <laughs> um, thank you for for uh, helping me. Uh, my name is Sildar Hallwinter. I am one of the knights captains of the Lion Shield oh, Adventurer Guild. Sildar. Sildar, yes. I think um, you still did jobs. I, I, I do. I mean, ever since, uh, uh, um, <clears throat> ever since my time, ever since coming back to Neverwinter after my, uh, after my, hold on. I Watch lost, that, no. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Give me one second. Rest in peace. Ah. Oh. Um, after after heading to Neverwinter, after the my service with the Griffin Cavalry in Waterdeep, I've I I decided to help out with building our Adventurers Guild over in in Fendalen. Um, and uh, Andreas, as soon as you hear Waterdeep, you recognize the name. Who? Um, it might have. Uh, especially with the Griffins, uh, the Griffin Cavalry, you recognize that that name of being the the guard infantry who used to kind of try to do a lot of the trials that happened back in Waterdeep, and you might have had an interaction with this particular group over a certain incident in your past. Uh. Um, Andrus just kind of pins the goblin to the wall while listening. <laughs> it's like ve very casual, like. Chiron, what were you saying? I said, would I recognize the name? You don't recognize the name, no. Only Eden would. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, uh, so he, he kind of like, re uh, so you don't, Gundren wasn't with you? No. No, From what we, we have we're been told, still searching. From the... what we have been told, take your deep We heard you were cave. being, uh, we heard they were being kept in the eating room, and we didn't uh, think that sounded very nice. Uh, I mean, they were just trying to beat me for information about Gundren's maps that he hold, held, but that's about it. I I didn't think he, he... They didn't take him in here with me. No, he has been taken deeper into the cave. From what we... Oh, I, I hope he's okay. I mean, it's... Ask we were, why. We were really ambushed, like, super... It was really devastating towards both of us. I mean, all they want was to get information, information, information for their leader, Clark. Gosh, that Clark was scary looking. Have you guys ever heard of a bugbear before? Ooh. Have I? I? Have, have, have I? I? <laughs> I've oh, heard right. a thing or two. Uh, Arcana or nature? Nature, probably. Yes, Great, I suck at this. Let's go. <laughs> Carl has no fucking clue. Oh, so we're doing nature rolls? Yes. Let me try. <clears throat> um. Also, you, using the conversation, Chiron's going to dissipate the wings. Um. Do you want me to do another roll for that, or uh, no? Is there I don't get any nature. There, okay. There's enough of a distraction. No one's like noticed. 
Okay, um, cool. Um, so for those of you who, well, I guess really just Grand Nam, Calibran, and uh, uh, Andrus, you guys have at least heard of, know a decent amount about bugbears. Let me at least see if I can show you a picture of this, because I know there's a way to do that here. That is not what I wanted. Ignore that. Ignore that. Ignore <laughs> that. Ignore that. I am going to destroy that. I don't remember. You mean the turn this. order? Yeah, the turn order did never existed. I just pushed the wrong button because I thought there was a way for me. There we go. Boop. All right. So this is uh uh, from a lot of your readings, a, a bugbear is kind of this, like, giant, almost werewolf-like goblin hybrid creature that is extremely intimidating and tends to lead a bunch of, uh, uh, tends to lead smaller goblin tribes on a lot of their, their, uh, excavate, uh, a lot of their excursions and tribes around, uh, around Faerun. Oh, uh, go, go, it's not go, either go. a bug nor a bear. Discuss. Yes, yes. <laughs> Andrus, nope. at this knowledge, will probably just turn to um, who he's now taken to calling Yumulak uh, <laughs> in his hands. Why, why, why didn't you say it was just a bugbear? I, it's just a tall goblin. It's we, <laughs> we, we, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the church. We've done this before. Real, you're, you're just scared because he's tall. I'm also tall. <laughs> but he he much more intimidating than you. It, ugly does not equal intimidating. <laughs> How you got scared go of this short tell person. Your men, yeah. It, go tell I I'm going to put you down. You are going to tell the men, your men, that I have killed many, many bu any bugbears, and then I'm going to kill this bugbear. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yemek just kind of looks around. He's like, <laughs> and starts running. I'm just going to shout down the hallway. You got scared by a short person, too. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> so Calvin walks, walks up to the the, 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 advent, the adventure and he like kneels down. Still Dar, so. Just so you get that I, idea. Yeah, I, I. So. They, I, I, I presume they got the drop on. Is that, is that it? Y yeah. Uh, we were just traveling by horse. Uh, Gundred was really trying to like rush ahead, and then all of a sudden, arrows started flying, out of out of nowhere, and and and, and hit Gundred. So I, I stopped and tried to. Uh, tried the best I can to defend him, but there were just too many of them, and like there, there were a couple that th there were six <laughs> goblins total. For okay, gotcha. Thank you, Ruka. Um, uh, okay, sorry, I'm I'm reading through DMs at the same time while trying to tell this. Um, yes. Uh, there were there were six of them total. Four of them were were throwing arrows and looked a lot like the rest of these goblins that you just somehow scared completely <laughs> out of out of here very menacingly. And he kind of looks exactly. uh, hesitant at, at some of you, especially Chiron, um, and uh, yeah, especially Chiron since uh, knowing the reputation of tieflings, he's he's a little bit nervous around uh, around him uh from what you guys have seen uh but but there are also like two of these goblins who were like using this weird green energy and and, and kind of causing even more havoc than the four with arrows we're uh, uh, when, the fuck out of that when when when, when he looked at chiron chiron's just gonna give a big old toothy fangy grin and wave like a five-year-old <laughs> Paget said something about that. There are goblins that Woo! seem to be following a different god. Uh, 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 so, Andreas, based on your amazing arcana check, you, Mother <laughs> you have a general idea that these are the same goblins that Paget may have mentioned before that seem to be worshipping not the regular god 
that they typically mm -hmm. do, but are harnessing their powers from somewhere else. Um, he does not recognize Calibran at all, uh, just because it's it's a last name that he he's he's very bruised and not really fully aware of you guys fully yet. Besides Chiron, because he looks so very different compared to everybody else. Um, Haru <laughs> oh, no. and and Haru and, and uh, Haruka as well. I I should say because both of them are kind of weird to him, but he's seen a lot of dwarves. He's seen a lot of halflings. He's seen a lot of half elves. So, um, but again, since he's been bruised as much as he is, he's he hasn't registered who you are yet, Calibran. But he probably would know you. Well, I suppose we should ha should press on and keep searching. Uh, are, are you okay to walk after that after that healing magic? I I I I think so. I I. I Poss po possibly. I, I feel a little bit better. I just don't have much on me, but if you need another sword, as if I can get one, I can help you guys out. He pulls out one of his hand axes and hands it over. Oh, will this do? I, I think this will do do perfectly. Um, What's what, what's the a plan, hand, though? Hand. Well, currently, it, it seems to have fallen apart, but we were we were Attempting to They're like the bloody adventurers. They're the <laughs> these folks had the daft <laughs> idea to try to convince the goblins that that I that our tiefling friend here was a demon that had been summoned by Paget to to I don't know Killed their leader so that Paget could take his place. That it's is still working, somewhat the plan. It? It's been working. Did it you? has. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, the plan has been working. We scared off this whole group of goblins. Which yeah. is very I... impressive. I've not seen this, these kind of tactics since uh, <laughs> uh, since our Griffin Cavalry took out all of the, the, the riffraff over in Waterdeep a few years back. Hmm. Actually, I really love definitely going to like make a scowl at that idea. Uh, and he, oddly like enough, they guy. were oddly enough they were tieflings, which is why. And he starts looking over at Chiron. Why do you look familiar to me? Damn. Because the people like you all do anyway. Look like... Yeah, um, Andrus is going to try and take the uh, attention away from Chiron. We tried to give them a second chance as all creatures deserve the chance to change um and when we go into the next room we'll see if that worked um at the very least i feel if we kill this uh bugbear quick enough the rest of the goblins will cower and in fear Pajet so up. Pipes up, and then and then Pajet be leader, who 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 be new 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 person of Craigma, right? Yes, yes, yes. And such is the plan. You'll be our the dearest friend, Pajet, who is uh, the only goblin smart enough uh, to know uh, the the uh, tactical tactful art of diplomacy, uh, shall take up the leadership of these goblins. Pajet is going to start dancing around. The spider's going to love me. The spider's going to love me. Who? The spider? The spider. Yeah. Who is that? Uh, Sildar kind of like pipes up. I, I heard something about this, this spider. It's it's who this Clark is reporting to, I guess, from what I heard from the goblins around me. Interesting. Uh... So, well, I go ahead. Well, time is wasting. We don't know if we don't know if we have if our time to find Gundren is limited. I, I'm, I support, I'm, I'm, get, the it's... name's Calibran. Get behind me, son. What did you say your name was? Calibran. He said. Calibran. Are you? Wait. 
I know your parents. Everyone parents. Well, yeah, uh, I mean, they were the ones who helped establish, like, our, the guild in Fedalen. Of course I know them. Wait, you're their son? What are you doing? I didn't think you wanted to be an adventurer. I, I, He's I'm, studying. I'm technically here to study the other the, the, the adventurers here. I, they, it's complicated. He he Fair. kind of bows down, sir. Sir, I will be your shield for as long as I can. But Look at you, that! You have a guard. I think. Tyron. Uh, the whole time just everybody's talking. Focus on protecting yourself. You're in such a you're in a bit of a sorry state at the moment. Uh, go ahead, Chiron. What were you saying? The, the whole time, Chiron's going to be giving a. Uh... Andrus looks, and then as soon as this man said that he's going to be joining as a guard, Hiron's going to say in Infernal, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, Calibur's just... <laughs> Meanwhile, you Andrus can tell. Calibur's just like... Die! Uh, uh, Andrus just says, uh, maybe in, in back in Infernal, maybe put your coat, uh, your hood up. Um... And just, you, you, just stop getting attacked. Stay in the back for a little bit. It, uh, are you saying that's a Sildar or Chiron? Sorry, Chiron. In, okay, in front. gotcha. But, uh, apologies. I thought that's what she said. I just wanted to double check. So. He, he doesn't respond. Just you know, Andrews could tell that he's annoyed. Tail, tail's flicking very angrily. Yeah. Caliburn's kind of had a bit of, like, a change of heart, having a friend of his parents here. He's like, okay, okay, fine, I have, I have to be sure that we, they're, they're represented well enough. I have, oh, so oh, oh, oh. I have so many stories that we should talk about after we get out of this cave. We need to have a drink together. Like, your parents would be so happy to know that, that I'm traveling, I'm your shield for a while now. I'm sure they. I'll just continue. I haven't oh, spoken to them in years. Peugeot kind of, uh, kind of. Back Wait, down. are you saying they're in Vandalin? They they established our 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 uh our, our branch in Vandalin, but I haven't seen them in a while. Mm -hmm. They've been establishing branches all all around Faerun. Course. Right. Uh, well, as long as they're being safe, I suppose. Oh, I'll have Not to risking have to their lives away. every five Adventurers seconds. Adventurers being safe. Be real here. <laughs> <laughs> Peugeot's kind of like, <laughs> I'm gonna be the leader. Here, <laughs> follow me, and he starts running down the stairs. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Following. Interesting. Very well. All right, I'm gonna just run um, off. Uh, so he starts taking you uh, through uh, uh, another side of the cave, through this upper passage. Um, I have too many pages of notes. Hold on, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Um, so no. as you, as you kind of like pass forward, you you kind of notice that there you start hearing a lot of like running water, um, and as you enter this this passage over here, uh, you start seeing. Uh, kind of this very raggedy, uh, raggedy bridge, uh, and, and under you is the, um, I'm going to leave Sildar, I'm going to put Sildar in the back, just so I okay. remember what he's with us. <laughs> I was about to say, um, like, where'd we go? <laughs> no, I know. Uh, he's still sleeping. He's, oh, I forgot to take that off, didn't I? <laughs> Wherever Sildar is, Chiron's not going to be anywhere close to him. There's going to be another person between him Good and idea. that. And... Yeah, minimum <laughs> Probably numbers. completely makes sense there. Um, Goblin of the wall, what is your wisdom? What the fuck you doing? Something happens to Caliber. That guy is gonna lose his job. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this wall is interesting. No. Um. Chiron was completely on board with being called a demon this entire time. He gets called Riff Raff potentially, and he's like, "I'm not here for it anymore." <laughs> <laughs> so Pichette leads you to the bridge, and you notice uh, 
that uh, eastward of it, there seems to be a couple of waterfalls that are leading further, further and further into the cave. The the bridge is about twenty feet uh, uh, up above you. Well, no, you're on the bridge, and twenty feet below you is where the running stream was that you saw earlier. Ah, uh, this is the one that fl is this the one that Pudget floated down. I... <laughs> Looks a bit deeper. Yeah, uh, he kind of he kind of points this way. There's we 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 create fun trap over here if if we see intruders. This is oh. where you make you make uh, <laughs> trap go off and make me fly out of cave. Ah. <laughs> All right, so well, I expect we will be ejected from this yet. cave very soon. <laughs> We're on the... Well, no, we're on the bridge. <laughs> but but right. bridge secure, no. bridge secure. We we we're good as Pat uh, as Paget starts kind of going a little bit further, um, and and right as you're starting to enter the bridge, you uh -oh. hear a, a, another gob. Uh, you you hear another goblin kind of a little bit closer to you. Kind of run, run up and speak in Goblin. Is Calibran nearby? Yes. It's like, Pajet, what are you doing here? That, I, 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 I knew leader, haven't you heard? No, I haven't. You, you, you know new leader. Clark leader. Do I need to rep No, no, no. Demon come and kill you if you try to run. Uh, a demon. And then you start seeing that another Goblin starts like popping forward to your kind of you know, look ahead and sees all these people on this bridge, then in common says, oh, Halt intruders! You heard him. We already did this with the other guys. Just <laughs> put your swords down. I'm... The goblins Do you start... not see that we're all fine and all the guys from your eating cave is are not here? The, the, the goblin just looks at you and starts to run further down the passage. Oh, this should be fun. Uh, I'm right, getting tired of running. Are so... uh, what did you say, Tyron, what did you say? I just said I'm getting tired of them running. Yeah. Oh, we, I'm certain we will have ample opportunities to fight here in a few minutes. Hmm. Uh, That's Pajet. kind of what I'm afraid of. P Pajet starts to kind of look back and is like, uh, that may not have been good. Sorry. We might it's be in right. trouble now. It is alright. We expected some sort of trouble. Indeed. Uh, so further down that, that cave, you start hearing some growling. Goblin growling? No, this is not a goblin growling. This is more of a wolf growl you hear in the distance. Puppy growling. Puppy! Pajet starts kind of looking scared. He's like, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to go first. I'll go first then. And Calibrin oh, steps to the fore. And Calibrin, as you step forward, you notice that there are four goblins and two wolves who are starting to block your path. Roll for oh initiative. Let's go! Oh right. boy. Initiative tracker needs to be put back up. I am putting it back up. Initiative. Haruka, <laughs> always with the high initiative rolls. Nice. What is up with that? Oh, that's, that's a 20. 20. <laughs> hey, that's go Karen! Nothing. <laughs> Just wait, you'll see. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, this entire time I could have given someone advantage on this ship of rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, did I get everybody? I think I might have forgotten one goblin in there. Yep. Oh my god, Pudget got a 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do need to roll for Pudget as well because he's going to be in this. Oh, there's just two tokens that look like Except you, the question is, is he going to be fighting on our side, or is he going to... You know what? Can, can I have given advantage maybe to... Maybe um, we have enough of an advantage here to win. <laughs> on uh, initiative, using my blessing. I don't... I don't... Let me find it. I'm, I'm, uh, if it works that way, I'm not sure. Uh, well, he has uh, to... 
act activate it already but like... yeah i i i, I should i should have done it before but like I'm, i i forgot that it's a feature of uh this thing okay okay um i will give you the i just option. figured giving it to pudget did it gives us the least benefit but andrus also would have remembered to give it to someone so i figured that's like the so, fairest person to give it to so what does the blessing do again uh, vigilant blessing as an action you give one creature uh, you touch including possibly yourself advantage on the next initiative roll okay so let me just have him maybe roll again and I'll see which one was higher oh yeah nope that one's higher okay cool that that worked out pretty well all right so with all of that it is now uh, Chiron you are going to start this fight hang on there's 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 another goblin at twenty two, it didn't sort properly. Oh no, it's sorted also. properly. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, how actually, are we? How um, are we gonna do, deal with the tie? Um, um, I will, I will have. I I will just say for the sake that the goblin will go second, so I'll have Chiron go first. Nice. Um, I'm gonna just hold my actions because I can't see anything into that room anyway. So. Cool. All right. So um, I think you would be able to to see. It's just the way that like the battle map is, because you can see down the hole. I mean, like way. We I wouldn't be able to see any far, goblins, That's pretty far down. Like that's, that's not three hundred feet. Like though. I can't see three hundred feet. I can see sixty. We've all been given three hundred feet. Yeah, but no, but only also, three of you. But... I okay. Look, so. There is a bend right here that the goblins are behind. Therefore, I would not have line of sight of anything going down down that hall. Yeah. Okay. That's, yeah. I will. I will at most prepare my bow, but I am holding anything beyond that because I'm not rushing forward. Maybe move a little bit up. Soon. Say again. Sorry. Maybe move a little bit up. And so that the melee people can't get across the bridge, Fair I enough. will stay and hold my action. Maybe move a little bit. Wait, up. What, up? What do you mean? Like, Sorry. Also, so, we can move through you. Yes. And at most, I'm going there. I'm not going to... Kyron has almost died every combat. You think he's going to rush down a hall? He can't see anything? No. Fair. Oh, fair enough. So, so Al, that's why I said a little me, bit. Move, were you telling me to move up, or was that to? No, that was okay. to. Gotcha. Yeah. I thought I heard Suno, and I'm like, I'm confused. What did no. I My apologies. No, it's alright. I have the DM ear, I guess. Uh, Everything's mm -hmm. related to me. No, I'm kidding. Um. All right. So I guess it's uh, your story. I made this start. No. All right. So this goblin's gonna come up to Calibran and. Uh, say intruder for Clark in in um in Goblin and then swing at Calibran. <laughs> Calibran, a seven will probably not hit you. So um, just casually just... flicks it to flicks the strike to the side and, and with his sword, and he's like, sure, what has it? it? <laughs> and, and the goblin just kind of growls back. Actually, I should have rolled for initiative for Sildar too. I forgot. It's too many NPCs oh, yeah. to keep track of. Good. He's at <laughs> he's at last anyway. That works out. Okay. Let me just put this back in order. There Worst we case, you could just he's, he's do being... all enemy he's, goblins he's, on the a goblins single roll. not pick up on him, but he has a very <laughs> mocking voice when he says, "For budget." <laughs> <laughs> all right, Haruka, you're up. Alrighty, Haru is move forward. Can't really see anything. Yeah, no, that's the issue. Yeah. Yeah, the I can't really see what's going on. We can see because we can see past you can just people drag realistically yourself. just like drag to see. That's what I've been doing over the video as well. We um, should but... mark Pajet with something so that we don't accidentally attack him. Yeah. yeah. Uh... Um, I will mark him with, I don't know, there's a little yellow dot. There you go. Perfect. Yellow Perfect. is the friend color. It's the friend yeah. color. Yeah, I... Uh... 
the way that this is working, uh, we can't see like past. Right, because you can only really see the immediate goblin in front of you. It would treat you and as that if goblin you're going in front of me is Podrick here as well, because mm -hmm. it doesn't have height separation. Like, okay, um, you can see one here. Yeah, we can see or a point the two. one here in front of Calibrum. Yes. Four budgets. <laughs> Fourteen uh, out of the way. That totally does not hit. Okay, cool. Wow. Um, yeah. Whoa. So, uh, as your blast goes towards the goblin, the goblin kind of sees the energy beam coming and kind of does this little swift dodge to the right and kind of snickers at you. Very nice dodge. Mm. So another goblin is going to appear on the bottom of the bridge and God. attempt to shoot Paget. No, no boy. And that totally hits Paget with no, I'm not like that. traitor. And he shoots and uh <laughs> and, and an arrow ends up in Paget's arm. Baba just like ah! It just starts rambling and, and kind of just jumping around a little bit in no, like, the buddy. surprise. No. Does he immediately pull it out? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he might turn his turn. Damn it, budget. <laughs> budget, no. Uh, and then uh, at the next turn, a uh, wolf runs up and uh, attempts to, uh, it goes right, kind of right next to the goblin. Can he get next to the goblin? He might be able to, I don't know. Yeah, and is going to go ahead and try to attack Calibran by, oh my, by biting him. And Ooh. with advantage because I lie next to it. Uh, Heck tactics. Um, oh, that's right. Uh, does a 15 oh, hit? Yeah. No. no. Okay, so he goes to uh he goes to go uh uh go and bite you, but you see it coming, uh and and are kind of able to hold off the wolf with with your, you you have a sword, right? I think sword and, sword and a shield, yeah. You, oh, you block you block the wolf with with your shield as it's trying to like, yeah, bite you. Um, with there Ooh. another goblin appears down on the river stream and goes and tries to shoot Haruka. He looks cool. Hmm. Uh, does an 11 hit you, Haruka? Beats it, beats it. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that was a yes. Okay. So uh, the other goblin no kind of just, uh, just screaming uh, goes and shoots at Haruka and ends up just nicking her in the shoulder, dealing three points of piercing damage. Ooh. Ow. Pajet, <laughs> be freaking out about everything, is like, ah, th this being my cave after a bit, and then attacks the goblin that attacked him. Woo! And oh, completely misses as it hits the no! side wall because he's too freaked out from being hurt. Grimnom! Me. All right. I will go next to off aggressive goblin if I can. Okay. Yes. I'll. That'll. That'll be fine. Okay. I believe in this bet with particular, the squares are ten feet. Yes. Oh. Okay. So yeah, totes. And I will slash at the goblin with my scimitar. Oh. Raw. Oh, Not that good. just misses by just like a little bit so you go and Oof. and slash at, at the goblin but the goblin locks scimitars and you kind of have this funny little fancy Stand sword off. fight with him standoff yes Arr. uh another goblin appears and then tries to shoot gremna ah jeez. does a 15 hit yes all right so as you are doing this little sword dance with with the other goblin, an arrow comes in, and uh, and and hits you right in the foot. I will say, My foot. dealing four piercing damage. Oh, how? Calibran. With this goblin right in front of him, he's like, "What's going on back there?" 
Hold firm! As he, as he brings his blade around and whips it. it in his signature little figure eight style, s- whips it around to try to catch it under the goblin's arm that he was, was holding the scimitar out to pluck. Okay. But that misses. That completely misses, yes. Oof. Um, as how we're rolling kind of bad today. Um oh as, as Yeah, kinda. Uh, as uh Calibran does the fancy sword, the goblin just kind of looks at him and is like, uh, and then just steps one small step to the right as it hits the ground and he starts laughing at you. Um Let me see. A wolf, another wolf's just gonna appear under the bridge and start growling at everyone because he can't actually reach anybody. Uh, Andrus. <laughs> yes. Right. Um. Hmm. I guess. I I I know there's a. Paget said about the water trap, but I can't really do much if from the middle of the bridge, so I'm gonna jump down here. Um, and... Probably just hit the wolf. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try and mace the wolf. Sounds good. <laughs> mace to the face. Go ahead and mace it to the face. It. That is a hit. Go ahead nice. and roll for damage. All right, cool. So you go ahead and mace the heck out of that wolf's face as it winces in pain. Oh. Uh, you kind of see blood starting to spoo uh, ev- everywhere as blood ends up on your mace, but that wolf is still growling and looks like it's ready for a fight. Mala, you are up. All right, uh, I'm going to get onto this edge of the bridge and uh, we're gonna Eldritch Blast this. All right. That does a 22 about... hit. <laughs> yes, it hits. Go ahead and roll. Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Damage. Six. Woo. Wow. Okay, cool. Um, so you uh that that lovely energy beam uh goes in sm- and uh uh goes right to that goblin and ends up hitting him smack right in the face as he kind of like <laughs> pu- uh gets knocked back and kind of gets hit prone for uh for the next turn as he 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 struggles to kind of get back up from the uh water he is in. And with that, Sildar is probably not going to be able to do much. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yeah, he, because you gave him a hand axe, so he can't really do too much. But what he will do is he will kind of go into the back and get ready to do something on his next turn. Hand Chiron. axes are a thrown weapon. Yeah, but oh, he doesn't want to throw his own right, cool. weapon. Does, does he want to throw his own weapon, though? That's mm. a good point. We can go um, retrieve it for, from a wolf skull. He could. <laughs> Uh, you know, actually, I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to take that hand axe and try to throw it at that wolf that Andrus is currently trying to uh, attack. So yeah. let me go ahead and... Friendship. Basically, for friendship. It's basically the same as swinging it normally, so it's like a strength-based attack. Gotcha. All right, and um, you see uh, Sildar with very uh with all the years of experience experience kind of aim for that wolf throw that hand uh hand axe and it ends up uh landing right on the uh right kind of on the center of the wolf kind of near where it's uh uh kind of uh near where its leg its front left leg is as it winces in pain um it this wolf does not look like it has much longer for this world Chiron, Aww. now you're up. Borf. Chiron. I had my mic muted. Yeah, oh, that's alright. Uh, <laughs> that happened. I'm gonna take aim at the goblin that's in front of uh Calibrin. Okay. 
I can't I can't find it exactly to ping it unless I go here, but yeah, yeah. we're just gonna yeah. Yep. yeah. That totally nice. hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. I think it could sneak attack on this too. Yeah. Does that, yeah. Does that get sneak as well? Because I'm sense. within five feet. I've been. I'm within five feet of of him. So yeah. Uh, how do I roll? That's how sneak attack works. Sneak. You don't need advantage on the roll if there's an ally within five feet of your target. So. It's an extra that... D. It's an extra D six of damage. Uh, how do I roll just the d6? Because you, you can use the dice the... selector on the side, or you could do slash r one d6. I don't see yeah. the dice. Oh, there it is. Cool. <laughs> um, how do you want to kill this goblin? Well, that that wasn't uh, Chiron's um, roll. I was just showing. That that's okay. Either either way, like even with your initial roll without the sneak attack, it died. So just oh. how do you want to kill it? <laughs> Um, just put an arrow through its skull. I, okay. I'm not. <laughs> That's fine. This is so where as... I lack creativity. Yeah, you are fine. As Gramnom and Goblin are kind of still doing the scimitar like fight, an arrow comes flying, as <laughs> and the Goblin just noticed it for a brief second, where it goes right through its eyeball and right through the back of its skull cleanly, as it just falls to the ground and dies. Right, Gramnom, Gramnom kind of goes like. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to move down this way. I can do that, right? There's no enemies there. That's there is no enemies. That's there pudgy enough. there, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. I just yes. wanted to make sure that wasn't an enemy. All right. You, there. you could stand okay. on top of me. No. Nah. I'm fine. I'm not that uh, much taller than you. <laughs> All right. So that good. goblin is dead. So Haruka, you are up. Haru steps up. Uh, these two are enemies, yes? Yes, those, those, all three of those over there are enemies, but yes. Ah. Yes, all three of these. I see. In that case, Haru takes out her, uh, her spear. And as she does, as she attacks, both hands. Against the wolf. Okay. She that... also casts Goblin Wave Whoa. to jump to the goblin in front of. Her. Nice. Um. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, you're going against the wolf, correct? I believe an 18 hits. Yes, an 18 does hit, so you can. Wall bam. Yeah. How do you want to kill the wolf? She she basically just goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> As the wolf kind of uh in gets inflamed in 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 like Actually no, it's the it once she, she just stabs the wolf, fire oh, comes stabbed. off the spear and hits the goblin front. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I understand. Gotcha. I all right. The green flame so... blade is kind of like a, a pseudo AoE, it hits two targets. Gotcha, thank you, thank you. It's learning spells as we go through so that wolf ends up uh get, getting a spear in it as it falls Sorry. as the goblin behind it uh it's it's this goblin right the yeah, one directly the one in front wolf. okay gotcha uh as the other goblin kind of catches on fire a little bit as this golden flame kind of starts uh engulfing him in fire as he starts to scream goblin gibberish of ah I'm on fire. Why? Oh, woe is me. Oh, woe is me. <laughs> this is not worth it. Ah! Something, something like that. Perhaps I you might you reconsider eat. your positioning, Clark. I, I love the semi-monotone of, of the panic in Suno's voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, uh, God damn it. No, 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 no. As that goblin uh, is on fire, he's going to start running backwards. 10, 15, and just start in, 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 uh, hold on, where was he? He was right here. 10, 15, 20, and kind of, uh, pop over to here, uh, 
and start aiming at Calibran. Okay. With his bow, a 13 I don't think hits, correct? No, Absolutely not. not. <laughs> so as as he's trying to kind of run uh, anywhere he can to put the fire out in him, as you see this golden flame kind of come forward, he tries to aim aim a bolt, uh, aim a arrow at you, but it ends up kind of hitting the side of of the cave as he's still kind of screaming from being lit on fire. Uh, and it is the wolf next to Calibran's turn who is going to go ahead and do another bite attack against Calibran. This time without it. Without advantage this time. Oh, um, that is 22 to hit. Oof. Do Ouch! I... Yeah. Do I... Yes, I'm gonna do it. It looks like this wolf is about to climb up his shield and be able to, like, rip right into his neck. But then Calibrin makes an instinctive twitch of his wrist as golden, like, Hexagons of energy project from the edges of his shield as he casts, well, shield. shield. <laughs> hey, good job. So the, 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 the wolf struggles so hard to get above the shield, but it's not quite able to do it with the magic thing, and it kind of falls backwards and kind of starts growling again as it's unsuccessful in its attack. Uh... <clears throat> There, uh, next is the goblins. Only, only a reason I did that is because wolves can hit pretty hard. <laughs> yes, that was probably a very good idea because that would have done nine damage to you, so that was good Whoa. that you. Um, oh, no. That. Yeah, because it, like, rolled max there, so that was, ugh. Um, so, uh, another... Top nine reasons why Chiron doesn't want to get anywhere near that fight. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, uh, the other goblin kind of runs, uh, this goblin over here runs forward and tries to smack Haruka with its scimitar. Does an 11 hit? Yes. Alas. Oh, Oof, we, we really need to fix that. <laughs> oh. All right. So uh, the goblin ends up slashing uh, at, at you in like a craze after seeing its wolf and its friend kind of putting to uh, a after getting put ablaze and it does five damage oh i am i am Ugh. still standing barely <laughs> i'm still standing pajak kind of looks yeah, around, yeah, yeah. very like like freaked out over everything he's like i i, I help person who 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 carried me must must protect and short bows that goblin and immediately the the arrow goes right into the goblin's skull as the goblin falls over dead. That's the boy. That's my boy. Oh, I get the oh, strongest oh, goblin in here. Yeah. Absolute out. For Pudget. For Pudget. Uh, Grimnom, you're up. Hello. Okay, I will step here. And. <clears throat> Um, I would like to at least attempt to, uh, like, talk down or try to something <laughs> the wolf to be like, hey, <laughs> no, friends. Down, down boy. Down boy. <laughs> Sit. Sit. I guess maybe an animal handling check? Okay, I will attempt this. Boop. Ooh. Okay, um, so the wolf kind of uh, growl, growls at you for a second, but kind of sniffs and 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 relaxes its stance a little bit. It's still very wary of you, though. That's fair. Okay, did let's see, did that take an action? Um, I will say the animal handling did take an action. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Well, if I if I were to go over here, that you might can move. if That's it's fine. I can move. Well, yes. if it's still aggressive towards me, I think that would provoke an attack. Yeah, it, would it, would, it would, but you're not actually moving out of its reach, I don't think. Oh, diagonal counts? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I think I will still remain where I am currently. Actually, wait. So, can I see what weapons these goblins are holding? Um, You see that each of the goblins has both a scimitar and a short bow. Okay, now, 
with regards to like which weapons they can use is it like like scimitar in one hand short bow in the other or do they like need to switch they would need to switch if they're going to switch weapons okay and currently what are they holding uh both of them are currently holding short bows okay so in that case i will go here okay cool <clears throat> all right with that it is the goblins back uh the goblin back here uh the the far back goblin's turn he's going to run back uh back into the darkness and you hear a click noise from him and that's his turn oh, oh, oh boy you hear a click oh, coming from further in the cave uh calibran it's your turn it's going to move up here And continue trying to push ahead and strike at this goblin now. Alrighty. And he's going to shout back, Watch out, I think they did something! For those of the, the area, lower area of the cave. Right, right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good idea. The, the shield spell wears off. Bit of a bummer, I can only do that once per rest at the moment. And he brings his... What the... My UI bugged. Oh. oh. How so? Uh, there's like an extra bit on my... Whatever. Must have been the bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> that was the bugbear! <laughs> As he continues to keep the momentum in his blade with a little figure eight, and before ducking down... With his shield like forward in this goblin's face, as he like whips it, whips his sword around in an uppercut towards his chin. Okay. Ah! That... Or not? <laughs> no. As you try to do all I these fancy no. moves, that goblin just kind of looks at you and just takes one step back and laughs as you. <laughs> Six as you uh, just hit the floor in front of him, and then in Goblin it says, "You might be fancy, but you don't know how to use that too well, do you?" Ooh, this. I might be a, I, just be a tad rusty. <laughs> and with that, it is Andrus's turn. Cool. Um, it's probably not gonna wor work out well, but Andrus will run up. Uh, behind this way that 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 goblin that escaped went by okay. 15 uh, 5 10 15 20 25 um i uh, might as well go 30 um and then i will try and collapse this goblin the back of this goblin's skull with my mace okay That just misses. Oh, um, um, so guys have been keen today. Yeah. Mm. So uh, <laughs> uh, as you swing your mace, the goblin uh, kind of uh, notices you uh, coming back from there and does uh, and, and kind of ducks as, uh, or actually, or, uh, yeah, and, and kind of ducks uh, as the, the mace kind of swings right over its head and then he kind of sticks his tongue out at you. Mala, cool. uh, his back's now turned to All two right. people. This, yes, this was my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Flanked. Yeah. I'm going to move here. Okay. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, casually Eldritch Blast the wolf north. No. Okay, cool. That well, totally hits hit. the wolf. Roll for damage. <laughs> All right, you. Yes. Okay. So you you blast the wolf right in front of it. Mm. It. Uh, it uh, ki kind of putting it right into his eye, so it blinds it a little bit. You see it shake its head and then start growling, getting ready to attack again. No, Buffy. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> 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 uh, Sildar jumps uh, down and grabs 
grabs his hand axe from the wolf that was was uh was uh that his hand axe was sticking out of. So he now officially has his weapon back. Chiron. Uh. So going to move down, and I'm just. Can I shoot the that goblin there? Yeah, I she should be able, able to see him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It wasn't so much a reach; it was more of a see. Yeah, you can. You'll be able to see him from where you are. That totally hits. Go ahead and roll for damage. Woo! And you get sneak attack too. And you might want to just. I, I can teach you later how to add like a damage modifier to your sheet. So like, you could you could just check a box, and it'll automatically add to to the attack roll. Nice. Oh, is that what that? Hold up. Let's see. No, yeah, it didn't do it. You got oh, it. yeah, it did. Cool. Hey, uh, and I the... rolled the same damage that yeah, I did the original. <laughs> that that goblin is totally dead. Um, as as this goblin's doing all this fancy sidestepping from Grandma and, and Andrus, um, a <laughs> arrow comes and flies right at the goblin. As he's taunting both of them, it just kind of hits him right in the head, and he kind of falls over as his tongue was stuck out at Andrus at the time. Deja vu. He blepped. <laughs> My oh, hero. Right. Death blip. Okay, uh, Haruka, it is your turn. Okay, let me... Good. Haru steps forward, kind of limping. Uh, she pulls herself up onto the bridge. Okay. Places a hand against the chest as she spends a d6 to use her healing light. They... Damn. Paget heals no, one. No, Ali, uh, Haru does. She was at one oh, HP. At her, it yeah, no, oh. that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. So, so you feel a little better. Just... Actually, you know what? I'm going to spend both. Okay. Because I kind of need it. Yeah. Much better. I'm back uh, at six out of nine. That's great. There we go. Nice. And as she casts her eyes into the hallway, she starts to kind of limp forward towards the jet. Okay. Forgive me. They caught me by surprise. As long as you're okay, that's the important thing. We need to kill Glarg. We need to kill Glarg. Yes, we do. Even he's saying it wrong now. Yes. <laughs> uh, Death to Cletus. Death to Cletus. <laughs> Peshat just Bruh. starts screaming, Death to Cletus! Wait, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> Death to everything! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna walk into this room and be like, ah, finally, the famous Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it is the wolf's turn. The wolf is extremely angry now that it got shot at. It is going, or Eldritch Blast, and now it's gonna go after Mela. Uh, boop. We couldn't have nice things. No. No. I was I this think... close. Mela, a 21 hits, correct? Yes, uh, I'm going Girl. to use a Hellish Rebuke as a reaction. Oh, beautiful. What did Hellish Rebuke do again as a reminder for myself? Set uh, shit on yeah. fire! Yeah, yep. pretty much. Uh, I point at it and I say no. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. So it needs to make a deck DC save. 12 deck. Okay, gotcha. Um, but da -da 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 -da, let me... Here we go. Will it make it is the question. It does not make that. So as the wolf, uh, as the wolf goes to attack, it all of a sudden just gets, I'm assuming. Uh, it seven points done. of fire damage. Yes. It just lights on fire as it comes and attack you and just keels over before it even has a chance to hit you. So who's the real demon here? <laughs> Don't you have to be uh, hit first? Yeah, I have yeah, to I be have to hit. Oh, okay, well, it does do... Uh, okay, so he does... So he hits you for six points. Yes. He bites yes. into your arm. He would hit me arm. for six points. 
but yes. then and then as he bites into your arm, he gets engulfed in fire and then dies <laughs> immediately. Welp. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, Bad. There is just, <laughs> I think, one goblin left, and Pajet is like, ha ha! I'm going to run down here and go after him. So he jumps down and kind of ends up right about here. Oh, no. Gramnom. Oh, it is God. Your turn. <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, I can't see much at the moment, but I think I probably could have, like, heard where Pajet was going. Yeah, Pajet jumped down and, uh, ended up around here somewhere. Okay. From what you heard. So, so each, these, these squares are ten feet each? Five. Oh, five. Okay. So, five, ten, uh, um, fifteen, we... twenty... How 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 far is your um dot vision? Sixty feet. I, Sixty feet? Uh we're well, I mean I mean unless it's three hundred. Oh that's the wrong thing. I was <laughs> here or previously. If you had sixty feet by default, I wouldn't have given it to you. I think you we you would be able to see there's a goblin. There um, is a goblin right over, over here. here. It's just yeah. the way that the oh. map is situated, so I apologize. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I think I'm going to need a break soon. I need to use a rush. That's all right. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, <laughs> 25. Uh, Mal also <laughs> has to go recover the sun soon. Yeah. And our snackies are missing, so that'll make things interesting. Ah. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So how how much action does it take to switch weapons? I will just make it into like a bonus action for you to do it. That's how I've been okay. situating it. So, actually, wait. I don't have a bow or if, anything. Just <laughs> if, so if actually, it's uh... like on your belt, you can drop <laughs> your equipped weapon and uh, equip a new one for free. But like to pick up the new one, like it's it's to drop one and then get one a new one out i'm pretty sure is a free action it uses your interact right. with object right but like if it was in your backpack that would take longer or if um if you wanted to like not drop your other weapon if you wanted to right. holster your weapon and then pull out a different one it's complicated um, and stupid i know right uh, uh, uh... yeah um all right, well, I don't want to... The only other weapon I have is, like, a hand axe. And I don't necessarily want to throw it just yet, just in case it, like, misses. <laughs> <laughs> so in that case, um, I think... I think I'll just druid craft and make this goblin, uh, you know, ha smell the smell of a skunk. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> that That works. That works. Um, um, do, 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 do. so I guess the, the, the goblin is distracted by a very stinky, stinky <laughs> smell right now, which is, which is awful for it. And, um, as it's kind of covering its nose, you notice that it ended up activating a switch right where it was, which uh -huh. now, uh, Haruka, you are on the bridge, right? Mm hmm. Okay. I need to make two rolls. Nope. And no. Nope. All right. So as you see the water, um, as you see uh, him activate a switch, you'll notice that up here, the a little uh, a, a part of the cave kind of opens, and then there is a lot of water that is starting to run down the path. And you hear Pajet scream, "No! I fell for the trap again!" Oh, Can Hard try to catch him. There. Um, like use a reaction. Can. Yes, you can, uh, I would say do a... Do athletics? A athletics, yes. Thank you! Damn it! <laughs> Ooh, nope. Uh, um, as yeah! as you quite. grab onto um, um, Pajet, you do end up grabbing him, but he ends up pulling you down with him. <laughs> so now you're both flowing outside of the cave. I'm just going to move you to where you are. So both you and Pajet are now outside of the cave. <laughs> Team Pachet's blasting off again. Sildar also ended up failing that and is out of the cave as well. 
gotcha. So still, are you all right? Uh, that uh, I, at least the, the the blood got washed off of me. Pezet <laughs> doesn't like falling for that every time. <laughs> you will learn one day. One day, <laughs> this be my cave, Calibran. You're up. Right. Uh, well, do I see anything around me? Um, you the only uh. I need to reload my web page. Hang on. That, that's okay. I can't select myself because of the visual book going on right now. Uh, I was going to say, there is one goblin that's all the way to the east of of where Gramnam is. Yes. Have the this... distance? Yes, you do have the distance. And you know what? I'm going to be... Mm. Do it be funny and do something other than attack in a, other than an attack this time? It's up to you what you want to do. <laughs> no, we have like two weakened individuals out there that might get killed by this guy if I shove them into the water <laughs> and he gets washed out. <laughs> so I'm just going to swing my sword and he's well, 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 he's still doing the little figure eight thing. That's just how he trained. He's not going to try anything flashy this time. He's just going to bring it, bring it forward as quickly as possible. Because these, these, are, these brothers right now, these guys are wily little things. <laughs> they really are. It's a lot harder to hit a target that doesn't want to be hit. <laughs> And Case in point. No. The goblin once again just kind of is like, eh, and then kind of jumps back and is like, you need to get better at your sword play. Andrus, you're up. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Um, and then I will again try and mace uh, a goblin. Okay. <laughs> Very simple. That does God not damn miss it. the goblin. God. Uh, so you both just love swinging at goblins and just missing as he keeps dancing <laughs> around both of your blades. forgetting how miss. short they are. Yeah. I'm aiming Mal for normal people height. <laughs> Mala, you are up. All right, let's see. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Uh, gonna have to because I can't use Ultra Splash because I'm out of spell slots. Uh, Ultra Splash gonna... is a cantrip. Oh is it? Sweet. Fuck it. Yep. yep. We're blasting the bitch. <laughs> anyway, I that... started blasting. Not blasting. <laughs> I don't no, think I'll last the just... bitch. Now you just see this energy light sword and the everyone just <laughs> swinging at this goblin who just keeps dancing around you all. Is this goblin the one? <laughs> Apparently. <geez. laughs> uh, we have Sildar. left the light of Paget. <laughs> Sildar is out of the cave and he's like, okay, I guess we need to start making the trek back in. And uh, let me see. Five, ten, fifteen. You know, you take the dash action to move 60 sure. feet, right? Yes, yep. 30. So he's 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, which will bring him to about right over here. And Chiron, you are up. Um, I'm going to go down into the hallway that everybody seems to just keep disappearing in. Okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm going to try to shoot the goblin that everybody is so expertly <laughs> missing. He moves like uh, they do. It's an elaborate dance. <laughs> hey! Right, well, hey! Finally, and sneak attack as well. Yeah, Eleven. Um, nice. <laughs> wow, Chiron, I, I like how this seems to be going. You have two to three people distracting your target while you just sneak up and go boom, <laughs> and then arrow to the head, and it falls as we are finally out of combat. <laughs> oh, what can I say? Now the temptation to do whatever the trap is again. <laughs> All right. Um, <clears throat> so, um, after the last goblin falls, 
Uh, Sildar, and I'm assuming Pajette just goes on Haruka's shoulders yeah. and like, go forward! And then I'm going to- As you command! That you all kind of <laughs> meet back in the main cave, uh, like, in the area where you all just fought. Okay. I want to loot this. You want to loot? Okay, uh, do an investigation check. We could have been I will looting. give guidance. You could have been looting, yeah. <laughs> loot the bodies, let's go! I figured we'd just loot oh, them all on the way back. What is it? Is it insight you said? Investigation. 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 I got a 12. All right. Add a, so, add a plus four. I'm now. better at looting than a rogue. So from going through most of the goblins in this cave that you've been uh, uh, kind of going through after that fight, uh, you find on them... Um, about five gold and two he potions of healing. I meant to roll with you guys, but I wasn't paying attention for a minute, so, like, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So you do have two potions of healing and about five gold on you total out of uh, all the goblins that you've been killing. In the I mean, potions of healing might come in handy now. Someone, so, some are very injured. Yeah. yeah. You I, you all seem to know how to handle. Uh, Sildar kind of comes up. You all seem to know how to handle yourself pretty well. That was not an easy fight. We did have. Iron just um, scoffs and walks down the halls, or walks, oh, you know, away from the group. Yeah. <laughs> Forgot we moved. Oh no, he's we... uh, oh no, he's in the front again. <laughs> <laughs> we had a We did have a uh advantageous position there. Mm. Uh well I am I am glad that I am I am with you all as we try to clear out the rest of this. Um um Paget kind of chimes in. You you we Clark Clark in next room. We we able to kill Clark now! Excited, excited spider be so proud that that Pajet be new leader. Exactly. You'll be so awesome as the new leader. Sildar just kind <laughs> of like sighs and, and, and kind of uh to to the side of let me see. I guess Haruka since it's close is like, why are you helping out this goblin? Like, didn't he try to kill all of you not that long ago? Well better someone in charge. Better him in charge than this car. I mean, I, I guess, but how do you know you can trust him? Oh. <laughs> We're actually probably expecting him to die soon, so. Ah. Was... So you're using him as fodder then? That is. No, kind of... no. No? Okay. We were hoping for him to not die, it's just. He doesn't seem particularly bright and may not be capable of leading these goblins like the other men. He, uh, so there. Will, will there even be any goblins like left after you guys are done with this place? That well, the, is the, the tons fair. that ran away. And the, the goblin of the wall. The goblin of the wall. <laughs> the goblin of the wall! <laughs> Pudgeon Strongest live forever. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I knew I, enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's just let, let if anyone needs potions of healing, I do. I, I I do have at least one on me, and I think you all. Uh, so does anyone need to be healed yes. up? Is everyone okay? Um, I need to be right, healed so up. So Sildar does uh, get out the potion of healing he had on him and throws it over to Mala. I all right. I will go ahead and drink that. How does the potion of healing work in normal D&D? Two D four plus two. Two D four plus two. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Pajet kind of looks around. Pajet kind of hurt. Can Pajet have? Oh, I'm healed two? up seven. That gets me to full. A lot of magic for the moment. Um, I think we should give the health potions to the people in the back line. That way, if the people in the front line go down, they can give them the potions afterwards. You know? Makes sense. It 
that that seems like a, a, a good tactic Sildar kind of goes forward it's when, when my griffins have gone and done sieges like this to other goblin encampments we always made sure that we had both our front and back covered that way in case any goblins tried to get us from the rear as they like to do a lot uh, we, we had ourselves covered so I think that's a very wise idea Um, and as for Pudget wanting healing, um, can Fair I, effect. are there like any cracked stones on the ground? Um, do an investigation check. I can do an investigation check. No, that's an can insight. You? Um, oh wait, it didn't roll. There we go. That's fine. I can just press cancel. Yes, I can. <laughs> hey! Um, <laughs> there are quite a few um, cracked, you said stones, pebbles? Crack, um, cracked pebble, yeah. Yes. Just like something. I Basically, I want to cast mending on a, like a little pebble. Okay, um, to the north, um, kind of where, because uh, this one, uh, th this pool is very emptied at this point, as it looked mm -hmm. like there was like a... Uh, uh, rocks that were covering up, and you do see quite a few pebbles you can probably mend and work with this on. Right. I will pick up a pebble and then walk up to Pudget and give him, uh, like, I will show that it's cracked, and I will squeeze it tightly in my hand. It will become um, like, uncracked uh, because I cast mending on it. Mm -hmm. um, and I will tell him this is a healing rock. It will, it will make you better uh, over time. You will be the strongest. You don't need a health potion. Pedet, uh, uh, Pedet, Pid oh, wow. Pajet kind of takes the rock. He's like, "Ooh, shiny stone, shiny stone, make Pajet even stronger." As he holds it up in the air. I was so expecting him to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I get the vibe that this is something that Andrus has done to Kyra? Because <laughs> uh, kind of looks at Andrus. Uh, how it work? Um, it will help when you need it. Pichette kind of like uh, shakes, uh, shake, nods his head and kind of like holds in his hand. Pichette, use this! When Pajet need it, Pajet hold it close to him at all times. Hold snap. Oh, I'm back. gonna cry, my <laughs> son. Uh, How are you faring, Sildar? <laughs> oh, oh, um, um. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Need need to get back into there. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm doing fairly all right. It's I I I don't. I'm glad that I at least have this what? like. How long does light last, by the way? Uh, one hour. Okay, cool. I know exactly what you meant when you said that. Um, Sorry, Mal was letting me know something. You're good. I'm, I've been in darkness for so long that having this, like, light here has been really helping my eyes, at least. That's good. And Calibrand also decides, you know what, if we're, if we're not doing, if we're not doing Sneakies, we're doing sneakies, and he casts light on his sword, and it begins Ooh. to glow a faint golden light as well. Okay. Cool. Uh, I can make I that happen. Then. Oop. I don't think it really matters at this point, but it's nice no, to have. No, it doesn't. It's okay. Um, it's being the prisoner of these goblins for such a long time has not, not been easy on my soul. I am getting up there in age, after all. Wouldn't mind yawning. At least you're... At least you've had a life that matters. The, oh. I... I mean... But but you you are one of the, the famous Everholds. Like, how could your life not matter? You know... Parents aren't everything, right? I mean, that's... Been able... I've, I've not been able Every to complete my matters. thesis. I can't... I, I, I can't figure it out. Hmm. 
I mean, look, Calibran, my I'm parents are nobodies, and yet I'm here talking with you, aren't I? Most that... adventurers' parents are nobodies. That's part of what I'm trying to find out. Your parents are adventurers, aren't they? They are. Ah, they're one of the most famous adventurers out of our guild. In fact, ooh, maybe you, you're, you're writing a memoir or something, right, Calibrin? Or, or more like a research? A, a, a bit of a thesis, really. I'm trying to get candle, actually. Well, if we run into the Rock Seekers, I'm sure they'll have a hell of a story to tell you. I'm just trying, I'm, I'm just trying figure out why it is that of adventure what drives them to take such <laughs> risks as don't say money or fame Food. or helping Food. others those are th those can all be done in many other ways that are far less risky well if we get out of here alive going to uh, Fandalin might help you with your thesis, especially with the history of, of, of that of, of that frontier town. There's a whole thing that Gundred was trying to, to find along with his brothers there. Maybe I can give you some information about it if you get me out of here. I I I I know what it is and Ah, but do you know the whole story? A good portion no, of really it, perhaps. Important. T tell you, tell you what, and he looks around at the event. Mal, your mic's bit. barely picking up. Um, you know, if you, if you all get me out of here, like alive, and also manage to get me back to to my Lion Shield Guild, so I can kind of check on the status of things, I'll give you all fifty gold. Oh damn! Ooh. Hold on, I. I was reading something. What did you just say? <laughs> um, if, if you can get him out of here alive and return him back to his uh, uh, to to his guild, he'll give you all fifty gold. Oh, well, that was the plan, anyways. And so. Chiron, just think about how much food you can get with that. Each or individually? Each. I mean, each or group. Sorry. Each. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm assured they need it more than I do. Plus, I'll have some stories for you to write for your, for your your thesis. No, that's that's a that's interesting. Especially if you've never heard of the Wave Echo Cave before. I have actually. What do you know about it? That it's. Well, it was a joint effort between, I think, dwarves, gnomes, and humans. Ah, but do you... This would be a better story for after we get out of here, but there's a lot more to it than just that, which is why we're all in Fendalor It contained a right lot now. of rare and perhaps magical orbs. It's oh, right. it's, it's like the most powerful magical thing in the world currently. Oh, really? No Who wonder so many seem hell-bent on fighting. Yeah, including those rock seeker brothers. And these goblins. And me. <laughs> ah, the, <laughs> and then goes to Mallow. Why, why are you interested in finding this cave? Uh, I'm gonna be honest. I just like looking in caves. Caves are fun <laughs> to go in. He kind of looks around. Well, what do you think of this goblin hideout? This is a cave. It's, it's a, a fun, fun cave. cave. I got to kill a lot of things. <laughs> it does have a water slide. Yes. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and it is a quite fun one. I can speak from experience. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, I, I, I'm sure if we can rescue Gundren and Rock Seeker. I'm sure oh, Puget. <laughs> that was like the most delayed ever. I had I'm not adding in the sound effect during editing at all. I'm just gonna let it happen with the delays and everything. 
<laughs> I, I love I love how everybody paused because we expected it and then it was <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure once we re rescue Gudrun Rockseeker. You bastard. <laughs> we'll definitely be able to There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. We'll there, there'll definitely be some a new story to share with him, I suppose. Pichette time uh, chimes in. Yeah, the story about how I became the king of Kragma. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, Pudget. And then we'll come and visit and ride the water slide, and everything will be great. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll pat Pudget on the back, like pushing him into the next room. Oh, oh, oh okay. Uh, all right. So Pichette starts. Is everyone to... back? I think yeah. so. I'm back. Really. All right, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so uh, Andrew starts uh, pushing Pajet in, 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 in into the other room as he kind of goes into the darkness a little bit, um, and you start hearing some goblin talk in there. And as it looks over, you notice that there is a giant, uh, a, a <gasps> giant bugbear who ends up uh, kind of popping into the into the front over there. Who's standing across from Pajet and and kind of uh, sh shouting at him? How could you betray us? You had one simple job, and that was to kill anyone on the Tribor Trail. And yet here you are trying to, uh, to put up a tyranny hello. to take my cave away from me. But, but. But I have demon, and he points to Chiron. De demon powerful, demon more powerful than you. Chiron's just gonna look bored now. <laughs> and and, and, and Pajet kind of goes over. Do, do something. Do do something scary. <laughs> Lamb chowder. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna lovely press to finally meet you. I'm gonna this, press the digitation on. on the... Uh, it is not lit. No. Okay. Cool. I will use druid. And I believe to the term you are looking for, okay. sir, is mutiny, not tyranny. As as Clark kind of like uh, menacingly growls uh, uh, growls at all of you. How dare you come into my cave? How dare you take control of my minions? How dare you put my weakest goblin in front of me and expect him to be able to? To, to, to usurp me? The one that the spider chose? I think not. You better have a good thing, uh, a good reason for coming in here uh, and killing half of my, half of my tribe. Your friend has Where's our Gundren friend. Rock Seeker? I'm not doing it again. <laughs> uh, can you say that again? Sorry. Your friend has our friend. He he kind of looks at Sildar. So you save the human. Good for you. Me wanting to save the dwarf as well. <laughs> and he kind of and he kind of laughs. <laughs> that dwarf has not been here for a long time now. Right, what is where is he? What? Wouldn't you like to know? As I Clark very kind of grabs, much would. As 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 uh as Clark uh kind of grabs a giant morning star. And starts um, and starts uh, kind of hitting it against his hand, uh, being like, "You do not intimidate me. You will never know um, where the dwarf was taken." When when Haruka says, "I very much would," uh, Chiron's going to as well, and uh, we're gonna do the sleight of hand thing to uh, bring the wings back out. Okay. And he <laughs> was going to have a lot more aggression in his voice than dear sweet Haruka. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, go ahead and do your sleight of hand. <laughs> he totally does not notice you uh, taking off your <laughs> ring. Okay, and then intimidation. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. Ooh. It's scary. Um, um, so Clark kind of looks over at Chiron and notices the, the, uh, uh, menacing wings that have just popped out, and he kind of backs up a little bit. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. and Harker just looks over at Chiron, then looks back at Clark. See, demon. 
I you will uh, and he's he's like he's he's backing up uh and and kind of getting his goblins to get uh in front of him druidcraft uh burning goblin flesh (laughs) (laughs) press the digitation dragon work (laughs) (laughs) i I see you relying on your godless my norris crony tech you Mm-hmm. Do you have any idea how many we've gone through to here? And Pajak kind of comes up. You are outnumbered, boss. I'm the new boss of here. And Clark just kind of look looks at him. He's like, "What? What do you all want?" We want Dungeon Seek. He's but... not here anymore. Then tell us where he is. The spider took him. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The spider just said to bring the the, 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 the dwarf. I brought him the dwarf and then he left. Alright, where did you wants. have him bring the dwarf to? I don't know. You I took was... him, the damn dwarf! The spider was here to grab the dwarf and then left the cave. Be clear about it, God! <laughs> You made her How angry. do you contact the spider? Uh, mm. The spider doesn't contact me. The spider contacts when he's ne- when he wants something. I have no control over that. Now, what is th- who is the spider? Uh, Clark never really sees spider too well. Always wearing some type of cloak. Some weird mystical magic, magicy stuff. Can never ah. see face, but he still he he wanted the the dwarf. And who is he to hold such power over you? I, I, I he would just it, it was. Can you ask that one more time? Sorry. <laughs> and and who, who was he to have such power over you? He's he's my boss. I report to him. Hmm. If if I don't if if I don't do what Spider says, Spider kill me. Hmm. Just like this at all. Hmm. Pichette's like, what are we waiting for? Kill Clark! Kill Clark! All in good time. Pichette, I do believe that Clark is not. Our intended target. We want to find and kill this spider. Only, I I know I do not know location a spider. Then I guess. Uh... How often does he check in with? You? Only when need something. Only heard about dwarf and and needed to go grab him, and that was the last thing I was told. I gave him off, and that was it. That's I'm going to interrupt I know. that last sentence with uh, the plan that I told you, Zuna. Okay. <clears throat> I'm using precipitation on the campfire to turn it into a face looming over the room and Ooh. speak in Infernal, saying, <laughs> How much time do you think you have, bugbear? Intimidation check. Can't do. We're like the opposite of a murder hobo group. (laughs) 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 The flower baby. Twenty three. Uh huh. So, uh, uh, Clark sees his face and's like, "Uh, I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe King Grawl know about Spider, but all I know is I was supposed to capture the dwarf." Ooh, King Grawl, you say. And where might we find this uh, this King Grohl of which you speak? He he he's in Cragmaw Castle. And that is uh, where? Oh my I, god! It's a, uh, 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 Clark kind of kind of looks a, a little bit too too nervous to kind of talk. It's it's <laughs> it's it's outside cave. It's somewhere in Neverwinter Forest. Or Neverwinter Wood. 
That's quite a lot of ground to search. search. It's 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 northeast of here in Neverwinter Wood. That's all I know. I've never been there. I was just given this place. Does, I think that's um, the information we need. The guard know where this um, castle might be. Does um, he look I've, like he's following. I've heard. I've I've heard of Craigmaw Castle before, but it's it's supposed to be this. Uh, area where a lot of bugbears and goblins end up living uh, and, and kind of causing havoc around our area. We've not actually been able to locate where in the woods it is. It's just <laughs> somewhere. Well, we have... Uh, I... It, I... I... The dwarf had map! Dwarf had map! Where's the map? The, that's what Spider wanted. So the spider has the map, too. Great. Hmm. Fantastic. Did That's any of you wanted. see the map? Or do you have a different map? That. Uh, Clark kind of looks around. Uh, uh, map, map. Me. That was only map that, I, that I've known of. The, the spider said it was important they find. Sildar's just like, oh god, if 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 the goblins and the bugbears and whoever the spider has a map, we might be in trouble. Right. Maps. That is an idea. Does anyone have a map well, they don't, of they, the they surrounding don't know, region? Well, they don't know where the, the, the castle is, so that's a good point. Damn it. Okay, I derped. I derp. <laughs> <laughs> so what now? we do now clark kind of like growls i think you you get out of cave i think we have i don't to think it's wise if, to leave them if we so were just to leave the road. if we were just to leave who's to say that the spider won't contact clark and ask for the information about what was just happened i mean he he does have a point Pizzet! Wants to kill Clark! Pizzette wants to take cave! <clears throat> Clark just weakling over demon in the back! And Clark just kind of just the, de the demon has proved himself very deadly. Tyron's <laughs> <laughs> just like sitting there quietly. He's, a, he's, he's a, a, a soaking up this praise he's getting right now. <laughs> <laughs> As he should. He's, He's loving it, but he doesn't want to show it. No. Maybe his tail is swaying a little bit happier than normal. <laughs> Who knows what is that? And he points to the giant furred creature in the back corner. Uh, a, wolf kind of, a wolf kind of uh, kind of is growling at all of you. This, this is my fateful pet ripper. Oh, Ripper, ripper go and rip Pajet if you don't get out of here. As Ripper kind of goes towards Pidgeot and starts growling at him. Parker gets between him and Pid Ripper and Pidgeot. <laughs> I think not! Then get out of cave! Can, can Chiron shoot at the wolf? You are I'm, just gonna yes. I'm just going to reenact. I'm just going to reenact the meme here. Yeah. I think we're going to have to kill this guy. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Chiron's going to shoot the wolf. Or at least shoot at it. Uh, okay. Why is it always the wolf? Go, go ahead and do an attack roll. That yeah, that hits. Yes. <laughs> this poor wolf. It and has... it, you get sneak attack because I'm next to it. Fourteen. Uh. Hold wow. On. Hold. I, oh, I think that's initiative. Ooh. Um. So, so during this, Chiron just guys kind of, uh goes over sneakily and hits and. and D darts an arrow right at the wool at Ripper's head as Ripper just Ripper kind of just uh, winces and then falls over dead immediately. Oh. Try that so again. What was that about Ripper oh, killing dare. Padgett? Clark just kind of looks He's in pissed. like shock over what happened. You see him start to growl 
Clark, bash you for all that! Roll for initiative. Yeah, Let's go! Right. <laughs> Your order is still up. Not 20, baby! Oh, God. Legit. Nice. nice. <laughs> 15. I'll just, I'll just be at the bottom I'm of the them. list. Morning, <laughs> Ripper. <laughs> so, so an, a very amusing thing that happened in my, my uh, Lethal Company oh, collab with Suno... We were talking about just having to outrun Suno because, you know, <laughs> and I used the quote I learned in D&D &D was, I learned something in D&D. &D. You don't have to outrun the dragon. You just have to outrun the dwarf. And I got snatched immediately. <laughs> I played, like, immediately. Wow. Oh, oh, was, was, what's his fuck standing there the whole time? What? Sildar? Yes, he yeah. was. Yeah. <laughs> Iron's gonna just look at him and go, not bad for Riff Raff. <laughs> and he's just like, Damn. Why do you look not important? All right, Haruka, you're up. First off, can Spear stab this? Are you gonna do what you think? Yes. You're do? There we go. Uh, yes, go ahead. That will hit. Just Whoa. Hold on one second. <laughs> We're rolling uh, off yeah, the that button. hits. Who are you? Who are you doing this to? I'm sorry. Could you? Okay, again? stab against this guy. Okay. Gold flame against. The gotcha. So that will go ahead and do that, and that will go ahead and do that. Um, so <laughs> it, like with, without <laughs> any of them realizing what was happening, it all of a sudden like like one of the goblin had just got pierced by a spear and the other one got lit on fire and they're all like oh god here we go clark being extremely <laughs> pissed off at what just happened goes up to pajet and swings at him as hard as he can. no please oh, <laughs> Should have attacked uh, me. It should have been me. So, uh, <laughs> Pajet kind of sees this coming and is able to kind of just <gasps> barely dodge as the morning oh. star comes and Poor bashes Pajet. with a roaring like boom through the cave as uh, as it just barely misses Pajet. And he's like, ah, 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 Clark, scary! As the goblin is <laughs> like, ha ha, you want to betray us? Then we will kill you, Pajet, as the other goblin goes and tries to attack Pajet as well. Oh dear. And before Which Pajet does not just... hit, dear Pajet Lord. Start, start, <laughs> Man, start... <laughs> Pajet starts... Pajet with blood on Pajet is the reason why our rolls have all been sucking, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so Pajet is just like dodging things left and right as both Clark and the goblin are just trying to... <clears throat> destroy him with every ounce of energy that they have. Mela, you are up. All right, uh, we're going to Eldritch Blast at Clark. Okay. Does um, a 14 hit. Hold on, let me find... Wait, where did Clark go? Yeah, where'd he go? <laughs> where did he go? He's he under, under, under the dog. Oh, he was under Ripper. Oh, there we go. Okay, sorry. Well, I guess you could say he is the underdog. Uh, uh, that, that does not fit. So, um, so Malice starts, uh, getting the beam of energy of Eldritch Blast at Clark. Clark deflects it with his Morningstar and looks at Mala. My Morningstar is thirsty for your blood! Try me. Pajet <laughs> is like, ah, 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 I, I, I attack Goblin next to me! I need to get out of here so I don't die! <laughs> And, uh, and give me something, Suno. Yes. Uh, and with all, uh, and with the right amount right, right, right. of, with the amount of adrenaline going through. Thank you. I forgot about that. And with the amount of, of like, insane amount of adrenaline going through, Pajet oh, just takes a scimitar and completely slashes the goblin next to him in half, killing it. Wow. Holy shit. Yeah, sure. Jet is strongest goblin. Uh, 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 Jet is strongest goblin. I'm gonna put this goblin over here and I'm gonna put Ripper over here for my sanity right now. So Okay. You can here. also put X's on them. I was trying to, but the way that everything is oh, maybe if I put the map further this way, that might help. Hold on. Let me Well no no no. See what you could do is you go to the token 
Uh, the, where you're doing the, um, the status Sing effects, them. and you can put, in, like, an X on them, like that. Yeah, right. like this. I, I was trying, but my, <laughs> my screen is not going far enough for me to do it. Oh, no. Oh, dear. That's the problem, hmm. so give me one second. I, I'm attempting to at this point. I need to go uh, do something really quick anyway. I'll be right back. Fine. Okay. Gives me a minute to try to... Oh, now it's not turn even on the bathroom thing. I mean, I guess theoretically that works too, which, yeah, I, I can't reach my bar all the way over. Damn it. The, you, yes, that works. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right. It'll be Sildar's turn, who is going to... Uh, who's going to run up to Clark, probably 5, 10, 15. Yeah, he'll go over here. Why did my music stop looping? Keep going. Please. Anyone know how to, like, erase the the paint from the paint tool? <laughs> you just select it and Press delete. click delete. Oh, cool. Thanks. So Sildar is going to swing at Clark. And he is not going to be able to hit Clark. He's kind of still weakened from his from being like tortured by these goblins earlier. So he swings his hand axe, but Clark is able to deflect it with his morning star. Um, which causes the goblin to go ahead and try to attack um attack him with his short bow. As in Sildar, which apparently it misses Sildar and ends up uh just a lot of misses and swings and technically it's I think just it wouldn't have disadvantage anyways because it's within the five curses. feet yes correct so it was <clears throat> not working too well anyway but it'll be Chiron's turn when he comes back I'm back okay um, welcome back I'm gonna attempt to launch another arrow at uh Clark okay oof that does That's not oof. hit um no. So as you, you go ahead and shoot an arrow, Clark captures it in the air, breaks it in half, and just growls right at you. <laughs> You're not so scary, demon! Andrew's here. Unless Chiron wants to move anywhere. N um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm safe. All right, okay. right. Andrus, you're up. All right. I... If I was thinking strategically, I probably should have asked... Um, <laughs> Uh, our guardsman for our uh, human friend for the help action instead. But I am going to walk in front of um, Clam Chowder. And <laughs> I am going to try and cast Inflict Wounds on him. All right. Oh my. Uh... Unhealing. Okay. So you're. All right, I have to do a, a melee spell. Okay. Roll. Yeah. Uh, now that's a lot of damage. D twenty uh, plus, I believe six. That totally uh, hits. Plus five, so an unnatural twenty, and yep, then that, that way, hits. So go ahead and roll for damage. Three D ten damage. Holy I damn! Twenty four points of necrotic damage. Holy. Okay. That was a good use of a spell slot, holy Yeah. <laughs> um This was Clark, my plan from the very get go. Just... <laughs> Clark kind of just him. looks in shock as you end up touching uh touching him and all of a sudden he just feels like the life being sapped out of him. He feels something sucking the life as Clark kind of winces and pains says, What what trickery is this? as he's as he's wincing, but he is still up. He's just... He's... He he can barely stand at this point, though. Calibran! Never knows that this guy has his bow out, so he can't really make an, a good opportunity to attack. Correct. So he is just gonna go... Bup, 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 to f just kind of climbing on top of the box to flink Clark. And bring his bring his sword around to try to strike at, at kind of like his shoulder in a way kind of like more like a weakening strike than an actual like killing blow mm -hmm. and probably misses because yeah, the dice are screwing me today does not hit. 
<laughs> as as you lunge at, at Clark, Clark with the little energy he has left kind of pulls up his morning star and blocks your attack for over there because he still has enough energy to kind of push you back. Be like, you, you might be strong, but I am the strongest bugbear of the Craigmaw clan. Gramnon, you're up. Alrighty. 5, 10, 15, 20. I'm going after Clarence also. <laughs> <laughs> Clarence. Nobody says his name right. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> I've said his name right. Okay, and... Yeah. Damn. Nope. <laughs> as, I say no. As Clark, once again, keeps just making his morning star, like, with such insane speed and accuracy, keep blocking each of your attacks as you're surrounding him. And... He's just, as as much pain as he is, he's still kind of uh, smirking, being like, "You are all pathetic weaklings. I will kill all of you, Haruka." Are you knowing that this guy can't really fight back? Feels that it's a little bit dishonorable to uh, attack him the way he is. So she just steps back and pointing to Clark. says friends you may wish to talk <laughs> <laughs> dang it no nope, not quite so many 14 so uh clark kind of hears hears you charging up your eldritch blast and kind of ducks out of the way so it ends up hitting I did not side. mean you. <laughs> I'm making friends side, with this guy. Side wall over here, being like, "Is that the best you have?" Cobra looks down as it had gone between his legs. Thanks for your comfort, there, Haruka. Uh, as as he he uh, looks at Andrus. So, you think you can use your magic against me? Take this as he slams the Morning Star. Um, uh, against you, uh, towards you, and I don't think that's gonna hit. That is totally not gonna hit, um, because it's a 12. I doubt it's gonna hit. Um, as, uh, Andrew, do you have a shield or anything or no? I do have a shield. Yes. Okay, so as Clark, uh, pushes the Morning Star towards you, you're able to block it with a shield, just barely holding it back, um, as she's kind of locked into there. Uh, com into this like combat with Clark being able to dodge everything but not being able to hit any of you. Mala, you are up. All right, I'm gonna do the funny thing. Uh, I'm going to use some movement to get under Clark. Oh God! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a light foot halfling. You can do that. Oh, oh no, wait, you're stout, aren't you? Yes, I'm stout, but I can still get into their space. <laughs> uh, anyways, we're gonna Eldritch Blast his nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you have disadvantage on that. Um, um, I rolled the same number regardless. Either way, it doesn't matter. Balls of steel. <laughs> so, so you Eldritch Blast him in between the legs, but because of his, like, bulking size, it kind of blocks your vision for a second, and your Eldritch Blast does not actually hit him it kind of goes towards the side of the cave hitting this wall over here as he kind of looks under he's like get out of there no <laughs> no, no <laughs> so Pejet's uh going to back up just actually he won't be able to so he's just gonna swing his scimitar at clark oh my god get him buddy get, I him. Swear. get him get him get him did he actually mal i gotta move you for a second sorry Oh no my worries. fucking god, are you kidding me? Um, <laughs> yes! <laughs> so, Pajet just looks at, at Clark and Goblin says, Your tyranny is over! I am the new king! As he swings at Clark, uh, at Clark and, um, and ends up swinging at the perfect angle to end up cutting off one of his arms completely. And he's just bleeding out. Clark looks at Pajet and says, the spider will be after you and falls over and dies. 
<laughs> Ow. <laughs> Sorry. I just oh, imagine man, that uh, Clark falls on me. It seems we supported the right goblin after all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The uh the last remaining goblin over here just kind of is like eh, eh. I'm not oh, going to go you king. Oh, there you go. And exactly. Sildar <laughs> is like that was the most weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know goblins could <laughs> get this strong. You're um, telling me. <laughs> this this goblin is clearly surrendered as uh as you notice at this point. Irk kind of came forward with his three wolf friends being wolf like, friends. I'm here to assist. Oh. <laughs> Hard goes over and pats Clark Irk on the head. You tried. <laughs> uh, at oh. least he didn't betray us. They were starting to make me think he betrayed us. You, you <laughs> might, we might have been about to. You, you killed, fight. you killed him? I, and we did not kill him. That's like, projected. <laughs> Uh, so over on the on the right side of the room here, there's a little throne that Clark normally sits on. Pajet just kind of pops over and 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 uh and kind of goes, "I am the king of Craigmaw Castle now, or Craigmaw Yay! Hideout. Next, what? we will take the castle." And and Eric is oh. like, "Oh God, what did we just do? I'll <laughs> hail the king." And, and the, 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 next we'll take the castle. Deal. They're all gonna die taking the castle. Um, no, this is great. We're going to the castle next, and now we, we have on. reinforcements. <laughs> yeah. I think we should probably worry about getting, um, getting Sildar and the cart to safety first. <laughs> True. I mean. I don't yeah. know. I suddenly I want to join the Goblin Revolution. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, my compatriots, as uh, Pajet just kind of chimes in. We might have taken down the tyrannous, tyrannous Clark, but there are plenty of other goblins who meet who the Craigmaws must go out and conquer now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is just into I mean... this. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're not going to go and try and take the castle today. I'm Probably sure we can, like, plan today. this together. Yes, I think yeah. we should rest and recover. But, uh, Pajet kind of points over. Your reward for killing the old king is whatever is in those storage containers in the southern part of the room. It's, hey, nice. uh, <laughs> to the south, you see a bunch of sacks and crates um, that oh. have just kind of been... <laughs> piled over near this large just... uh on the uh on there um there is uh there could be quite a few things within there if you search through it i'll search yeah, let's go. i, let's I look just through. want to say i love how pajet's intelligence went up like four points just by sitting in a throat <laughs> he, he found a headband of intellect somewhere he said compatriots and tyrannical. I am proud of our son. Pajet <laughs> feels he is smarter now. Hey, yeah, he found a headband of intellect somewhere and put it on. <laughs> Pajet is the smartest goblin of the Kragmaws. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great first story, Calibrin. You, you overthrew a tyrannical leader. <laughs> and put and reinstated it. <laughs> yeah. And the a new one. Witness the strongest goblin ever. <laughs> exactly. He's now level two, guys. I know. Yeah! I just, I just level up. <laughs> he so, didn't get the killing blow. Does, he did. does anyone want to search, like, the. Yeah. Of course. Yes. I will absolutely do that. So, I, I'll um, help with that. Within one. there, you uh, will see that a lot of these crates are marked by the um by the lion shield uh the uh the lion shield guild in Foundalvin. so there's a lot of stuff that that was taken from here from other adventurers who had passed by here um within there you uh you also see that there is a treasure chest that belonged to Clark Ooh. and in that chest is supplies from the Lion Shield coaster, as well as fifty gold. Cool. 
Uh, there is a lot of supplies here, so you will need a wagon to take all this stuff out. Well, it's a good thing we have one, huh? Yeah, exactly. Indeed. I mean, as far as we know, we still have one. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to so, check that out. So, Pajette kind of goes over and is like, My friends! What can the Kregmaws do for you now that I am king? Well, it is more, what can we do for you? Because I still agree that we are going to Kregmaw Castle next. I, I, I just... You should take I, this one. Uh, uh, so Pajette kind of, like, thinks a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Mala. Boom. I mean, if he's smarter, he probably realizes going now would probably be a terrible <laughs> yeah. idea. So, well, so Pich- not now, obviously. Once so, Pich- Pichette Pich- Pich- is like, I, I need to send out, uh, I need to send out, uh, Scouts? Whatever goblins are, are uh, scouts to, to find whatever is left of, of the Craig Maws to bring him back over here so we can eventually do an attack on that castle if that is what you want. But you shall have the Craig Maws with you when you grade that castle. Wherever it might be, because I have no clue. We will find it <laughs> and we will figure it out. We'll let you know. But you have a friend with the Craig Maws. For the record, Please stop attacking people on the road. In fact, if you say why so. Try, why don't try trading with them instead? Trade. Trade yes. could be interesting. Yes. But maybe we could get more arrows to kill more things. Exactly. As long as it's not people. Then Unless what can... they are very bad. As long as it's not good people. <laughs> but but no, then... can't decipher good from bad. In that but what what instance. could Pajet what, what what could Pajet kill then? Bad people, fan, perhaps. Anyone you save for Pajet to kill? And anyone you save? Ah, oh, maybe those weird goblins. Oh yes, you did yes. tell me about <clears throat> the weird goblins. Huh. Well, I mean, I mean those those, those those green glowy goblins won't be back. They shouldn't be, at least. Let's hope so. It, yeah, if they are, if you set up trade, you'll be ready if they do. Yeah, and then this this Rooksothid thing they want—they won't be able to get it from cra- from from the Kragmaws. So this what? This Rooksothid thing. They said we didn't have it and ran away. Okay, jot down those notes. <laughs> Rook has, anyone, has anyone heard of that? Or D- does that ring any bells? Probably not. That's how you spell it. Oh, cool. Is there any kind of like check for like knowledge of what it is? Seeing the the letters T, the, the, I, yeah, it did in it. I'm like, it oh did. god, <laughs> weary. Um, um, I'm trying to think. Would any of you know at all what this is? Probably not. Would the church be aware of it, and thus possibly me? The ch- church probably would not be aware of what this is. Oh, or would they? Oh, that's fine. Would I have heard fami- similar words? <sighs> you no, know, you can I roll mean... a religious check. Sure, you religion. Cannot... You can also have hard have a bit of a divine intervention shit. <laughs> that is true. Nope. Nope. Like maybe the maybe you heard through Saloon's teaching something uh with that name in it, but you have no clue what it's about. Or at least with that with with something sounding similar to it. Just for fun. You don't have to tell me. That was just, just for fun. Um, <laughs> just for fun. No, I'm sure. It was a natural 20, so I will. You think. He's just making you... shit up. No, no. <laughs> you think you recognize the language from your civilization, Gramnom? Oh, dear. That's not good. <laughs> Chiron, you have no fucking clue. Do you think Chiron would know anything about religion? He not probably, at all. Like, Make some shit of what Andrus is doing when Andrus is really like mm. religious worship and 
And just is like, did you have a nice poop? Yeah, <laughs> really well studied, but like, I don't know if he's really thinking about that at the moment. He's more, more like, like he, he's kind of just like retreating into himself at the moment because mm -hmm. like, what the no, fuck sir. just happened? So Skildar <laughs> kind of chimes in as much as I love uh, uh, celebrating the victory of our new goblin friend, I guess. <laughs> we do kind of have a job to finish. Yes. Sir Sildar, you are yet wounded. I mean, yeah. surely there is no harm in taking rest. I, mean, I yes, but I would prefer to do it outside of this cave, please. Maybe Agreed. back to where your caravan was. Very nice. Yeah, and especially since we could take these supplies back to the guild, which would Fair help enough. out tremendously. Since we've been, I, I've heard that we've that these supplies have been missing for weeks. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Oh yeah, we've been we've been uh, ransacking whoever's come by this road for the past like month. Jeez. But we know, but 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 I, but Pajet not do that. Pa Pajet, <laughs> your friend. Pajet will make sure to help out anyone who comes to the trail who look friendly like humans. Hey. Good. Much obliged. <laughs> All obliged. right. Uh, Calvin uses what strength he has to carry as much, much as possible, possible because... Sandar. Um, the, the remaining goblins who are actually alive, which is only, like, two of them at this point, um, uh, help you to carry the supplies back outside of the cave, and, nice. uh, and, uh, eventually, after a while, you guys are back to your original spot, um, I'm gonna put you guys back on on the original map from over here. Really quick, sure. just yep. just before we would fully leave, Chiron's gonna go over and uh, give Paget one of uh one of his daggers and and wish him well. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Aww. All right. So. Build up his self esteem yeah. somehow, okay? So all of you, all of you except Mala, start waking, making their way back. Mala, this is going to be associated towards you right now. Yep. Okay. Um. So, none of you are really going to see this, you know, being situated. But Mala, you're alone with them, and you start hearing a voice saying, "End them." Of course, uh, I'm going to be listening to this voice. Uh, I will go ahead and roll to try and kill all. Cool. I just need you to roll a d20 and make it advantage, please. What the fuck? None of you know this is happening, by the way, but have fun with this. Roll two d20s. <laughs> Whoa. Cool. One of them. Um... Yeah. <laughs> so after everyone else has, has left, it's just Mala and uh, and just uh, the rest of the goblins plus Pajet. Uh, Pajet kind of approaches uh, Mala and be like, friend, why you not go back with the rest of them? Is something wrong? It's just friend? your friend. existence. <gasps> what? And... Uh, and suddenly everything goes dark and when things come up all the goblins are dead and Mal is the only one who is just standing there wow and then the voice inside of you says now go to Fendalen and do the same thing there when I give you the signal and do what and Mallow okay. returns with the group are you all fine? you lingered a while yes I'm best not to question if it's just something that happens All when right. uh, there's a lot of the dead bodies around it's mm. normal I see well I'm <coughs> glad you are alright well that's dark ominous <laughs> Sildar kind of kind of point uh, goes over to Mal and it's like you, you look like you've seen a ghost are you sure you're okay yes I am absolutely 100% sir that I am okay. Well, 
I guess with this situated, I, I have to thank you for making the Tribor Trail safe again. Of course. You you said your caravan was around here? Yes. It, yeah, it should, it be should. South, though. I think it, it, it was here. right here. And it is still there. Awesome. Oh, Nothing has happened to untouched. it during your time. And the horsies are still here, too. <laughs> and the horsies are still there. It might <laughs> be a good idea to, to bring them back. Fendalen's not too far away from here. Um, <clears throat> it'd probably be a good idea to travel over over to there and, you know, relax a little bit. So, just to... <laughs> it's It's been a long, long, long day in a cave, and I've been in there for, like, a week now. Understandable. Yeah. Goodness. We'll get you wait, back. Wait, looting Pudge's friends? What? <laughs> Yeah, we left outside. three bodies outside, unlooted. Oh, yeah. Do you want to loot the three bodies that are still out here? Oh, yeah. so we should probably get rid of uh, Pajet from this screen as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, Pajet. Oh, oh I feel bad now. <laughs> Dang. And I miss my son. <laughs> as you all start to, to uh, start packing up your supplies and and getting the extra provisions that you found within the cave, you start making your way east towards Fendalen, going off into there. It's getting a little bit closer towards, like, uh, uh, well, you took a short rest. It, it's like the middle of the night at this point, I would say. Yeah. It, it's, um, you can choose to can still make, I, if we push, we can make it. You should be able, uh, Sildark had a pipe saying it won't take us too long to get there. We can probably make it there before the sun rises. Um, I'm uh, fine with that. Andres can, um, uh, drive the horses because they, their 300 feet of, uh, dark vision last forever, whereas everybody else has ended after an hour. That is very <laughs> true. So. Um, yeah, so... Horses and the oxen. <laughs> With that, you all start to travel east uh, through through the uh, uh, through the trail. Um, it is kind of the middle of the night, but your first adventure has kind of, together as a group, has kind of concluded at that point. <laughs> not knowing the looming danger that might be within your grasps. <laughs> dun, 